Behave, Velma. I wish you were here last night. I was asking about you. Hi, Samantha. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Kaz. Long time no see. Am I on yours, Danny? No. Give me a second. All right, I'll be right there to fix it. <clears throat> Probably because we have both on it. Here I am now. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. I'm tired already. Okay. Hi. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um. So. After yesterday, last night, um, didn't really sell a whole lot, and today I'm not on as much of a time crunch, so, um, I, okay, I'm just setting these things straight. These are mine. Um, uh, okay, and then I'm going to put this aside for somebody else. There we go. Okay. Okay, so Huh. Um, today, oh, I need this pen. Today I need a different color pen. <laughs> um, so what we're doing is, oh, I wish I knew who was all here. Hey, sugar britches. Well, sometimes that's the best. <laughs> Uncle Gino, if you're around, hey. <laughs> Um, I, um, I need to get some stuff cleared out. Hey, Christy girl. Hey, Denise. Hey, Amy. Amy Gaston. Amy Gaston, who has a very lovely, uh, booth of her own, um, in Kansas somewhere. <laughs> and, Amy, if you want to write it in there, you can, um, I catch the pictures on uh, Insta sometimes. Um, anyhow, I have had this stuff set out. Okay. I had it set out yesterday and we honestly only maybe got through half of it last night. And that's because of my, so we're going to cut that down a little bit if possible. <laughs> And, um, maybe I'll also, like, start in a different direction. I don't know. I'll go all over. But I have more than just what's on the table. I just brought up two bags and a tote. And over there, I think I have two bags. So I don't have it written down. That stuff, we're going to go, you know, like, just kind of um, or organically through it. And, you know, all willy-nilly. Um, if anybody is looking for anything in particular, or you remember something that I had that you never bought that you wished you had, maybe I might still have it. Let me know because, I mean, I might not remember it, <laughs> but we might find it. <laughs> um, so... The way I'm doing it, okay, first of all, there's no giveaway today. Um, that would be just too much to mess around with. But um, 
it's a pick your price. Hey, Punky, Linda. Um, we're going to have a minimum of $10. And so if you would have been here yesterday, yesterday and today would have counted together. But if so, you're only here today. So you only have today. But um, I am uh, selling a lot of stuff. And it's you're basically picking the price unless I say no. And there are only a couple things that I am like starting a price at. I'm I'm literally, um, you know, like yesterday Nancy was like, you know, she wanted this brooch and she said ten dollars. You know, I mean, you can say you know so and so five dollars, so and so three dollars. And if more people want it than just you, then you guys can. Which I forgot about yesterday. But anyhow, um, you would just kind of like as if it was an offer up, kind of, you know, offer it up <laughs> to one of you is like out. Um, but which I kind of forgot yesterday, but that's okay. I want weren't a lot of buyers yesterday. And I feel like uh today more of you will stream in. <laughs> A lot of, you know, like more of my regulars, maybe, um, because this is our time. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. So what Christy has up there, I, let me see something. I am going to, oh, I can't lock it. Why can't I lock it in? Christy, can you lock that in since you wrote it? Basically, it's exactly what Christy said. Name your price. Your total minimum today needs to be $10, and that's plus shipping. Shipping is not included in that $10. Um, and if your total comes less to less than $10, I'm adding a $2 fee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Amy. Yes. <laughs> hey, Angie. Hey, G-Dub. No, only channel owner can pin it. How come I, hey, oh, hi, Beth. I got your book right here, by the way. Okay. Let me see. I don't I don't know if it's because um because I'm on my phone. That might be the reason. I'm not sure. <sighs> I don't know. And I don't want to mess with too much because I will mess it up. <laughs> um Huh, only channel owner can pin it. That's weird. Um, or, let's see, they've changed some things on here. Let me just check and see. No, no, I don't want that. That's weird. Normal. Normal. Come on. Why is it just not? Um,. No. No, no. What is, oh my gosh, I keep doing the same thing and I keep forgetting that that's the one I hit. Okay, how about this? Does this give me some options I'm not aware of? Highlight saved to your channel. Oh, jeez. Highlight, what did it say? At least one minute. A video is needed to start a highlight. Oh, that's different than I don't even know what that is. Hey, Jacqueline. Um, okay, so I don't know, I don't know how to pin it. It I I thought that anybody could pin it, I guess. Let's this. No, this is like top chat, super chat, all that. Not live chat, I mean whatever. I don't know. Just make sure you're on live chat. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just ask, because if I can't answer it, 
Like if I'm doing something, like somebody else will catch it. All right. I got a couple of people who I would consider to be my safety nets. <laughs> and um, so, okay. Let me get this thing out of my eye here. Okay. So um, what I did yesterday is I started right over here and I just kind of went around the table and then I had to get up at some point because it was too hard to reach. So I'm going to do the similar thing, but I'm going to go the other way today. Is Nancy Kell here today? I'm wondering. <laughs> Maybe she would have already said hi if she was here. I am really hoping for some certain people to pop in. But if they don't, that's okay, because maybe you can get it instead. Whatever. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. All right. So, um, hey, Lindenita. So, like I said, if you made purchases yesterday, which, you know, because I'm writing it all together and um, just in different color inks, because you know how I do. So, um, we're just going to. We're going to start from the back, okay? And then, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to start at the back. And we're going to um, just go kind of zigzag through here. And I'm going to be grabbing things. And then, like I said, I'm going to start grabbing things out of these, out of these bins. And, um, and then later on, or maybe if I decide every now and then to do a regular price item or a higher price item, um, then that's what we're going to do. Okay, so first thing, and it might say, seem really weird to you guys, but I actually, you know how I research everything. I Google, I Google lensed it, and it's got value. This is a Birkenstock tag. I don't know if you can really see it. There. It says Birkenstock. Um, it says Birkenstock. Bad. Wait, what? Sad. Sonnet. No, sad. Home. Pony. And whatever, I don't know what it says. But on the other side, it says tradition sell 1774 made in Germany. And so this is a Birkenstock tag. I don't know if they come with every pair of Birkenstocks. I do not know. But if anybody's interested, just, you know, toss out a price. $1, $2, $3, $5, $10, whatever you want. And if you're interested, then, you know, you'll probably get it. <laughs> okay. All right. Dress. Oh, right away the dress comes up. I think we might want to wait on that. I'm not sure. But I could do the dress twice if I need to. You guys have seen this dress. It is so beautiful. It is vintage. The waist, I believe, was 28 inches. Um, I would require at least a $20 minimum on this. I mean, this thing. So here. And it's pleated. It would be just like the best little spinny dress, you know. And the sleeves are like three quarter. And then they they have these pleats, like on the on the back side. See, so cool. I like that kind of size sleeve. Very cool. It zips down the back, and it has a little little snap. Not gonna unclip it because you know how long it takes me to clip that back on. Anyhow, it goes down to here. 
And, um, you know, look, I know a lot of us don't have 28 inch um, waists anymore, if ever. <laughs> um, but this could be a great pretty and pink dress, if you know what I mean. Like, if you know how to sew, this could be, like, you could use this differently. You could pull this, pull this out and widen the pleats or however. I don't know. I'm not a seamstress or whatever. But, you know, um, it's just this beautiful dress. And it kills me. It kills me that nobody's gotten it. I mean, I just think it's beautiful and... I will, no matter how much weight I lose, I will never lose enough to be in this dress. If I was though, trust me, you'll see it. <laughs> so anyhow, I don't think there's anybody putting up a, it's okay. Um, yep, the pink one's next, so I'll get it while I'm standing. This thing is gorgeous. <laughs> or here, Angie, or here. <laughs> this is Torrid, and it's number four. Um, it was originally $55.50 US, $69.50 Canada. Um, so I, um, I tried it on. I know. It is so you, Beth. It is so you. Um, I tried it on at my mom's and she like, no, she, no. Well, here's the thing. This part is so pretty. I love this. And it was like, let me say, it did the tatas all the favors. It was perfection. They were perfectly displayed <laughs> um not like too too low except for the thing is and I love love this I mean look at this yeah 26 28 yep yeah it says 26 4 4x 26 and um these these are like and there's this pale polka dot if you can see it I almost hardly ever notice it, but this thing is just gorgeous. Now, if you, some people can layer clothes just perfectly. Like I can see like if a cami was under it or something like a, a like a snug little strappy um, tank or something, because this thing fell right off my shoulders. Okay. And I was afraid that it would fall like, I mean, it wouldn't fall here. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I guess depending. Um, but it was just too much here. And again, if I sewed, hey, I would, you know, I would just make that a little less. Heck, I could have safety pinned it, maybe. I don't know. But um, it's beautiful. It's comfortable. It makes you feel pretty. Pretty and pink. And I'm telling you, it's so comfortable. And the way it is in the back, it's like, it's not the way, you know, it doesn't like, um, it's not tight in all the wrong places. It's not really tight anywhere. See, and that's got those pale polka dots too down there. You can't really notice it though because it's just very pale. But this blouse is so pretty. So has anybody made an offer? So, okay. Well, I'm hanging it back up. <laughs> and I'm gonna pull this down right away. I don't know if I have any 1978 babies, but this is so cool because you know how the other ones are all linen? This is a different, I cannot, I do not know what this is. This material, 
my, I don't know, why can't I think? As close as I can get is like a bounce dryer sheet, but no. <laughs> so I don't know what it is. It does have a dowel in it. So if you had string, you could, you know, just put the string in it. But it's 1978. I love how it's thinner and longer. And, and then at the end, it does say, bless this house, O Lord, we pray, make it safe by night or day, right? I wish I could find a 66 one like this because mine is worn out. But anyway, if anybody is interested in this one, just throw out a, a, a number, 78, 1978. Like I said, I'm going to try to go a little faster today. Oh. All right. Okay, let's start out with something really simple and basic. I bought this, um, and I thought it was... I wasn't thinking it's for thinner, like, um, I thought it was for stamps, like, you know, stamping stamps, but it's really thin. So I don't know, like maybe it's for those rubber stamps, but really, otherwise you could just, if you collect stamps, even this would kind of keep them, you know, with, you know, from flying all over the place. It's just a thin, very thin, um, <laughs> a very thin little case has a thing here you could put a piece of paper in it to say what this is um okay okay um all right i've got these um this pair oh you guys these are great these are like og home co home interiors you know for the their um sconce holders or whatever you know their sconces and they already have the little rubber thing in them these are these are o g and the thing is they're clear they're clear so you don't oh, you guys i'm sorry my left hand just has that shake um the the clear is it goes with anything you, if you want a little color in there you could put a different color votive or tea light in here. I mean, this is almost back before tea lights even came out. It was in all, if we all just got the votives, right? <laughs> you just scrape it out and whatever. So anyhow, the, this pair is just so great. And if you don't have sconces to put it in, you can put it in something else to make it look real pretty or just, you know, to make your own kind of like candle scene so that nothing would burn down the house okay so these two clear clear votive cup holders and they're i love it they're like that hobnail you know okay i've got these they're probably all over the book, <laughs> but let me get that on here. And I will go over what didn't go yesterday at the end. Or if you, if you know of something that you wanted from yesterday that didn't go or something, just ask. Um, so, okay. Um, here, uh, Here we go. This little soldier guy is adorable, you guys. Look at him. His hands are plastic. 
He's got shoes on. He's got this thing. He's, look how cute he is. And that, oh, his eyes, that's what that is. His eyes open and close. And you know, these are the guys that they try to make laugh at uh, in London, right? At, um, is it Kensington or uh, is it Buckingham? I can't, I, I can't, I'm no good with all that jazz, but look how cute. So if you want him, just throw him off or he's adorbs. He really is. I mean it, you guys, just throw out an offer. Okay. Then I have little Carmen Miranda girl. She's got her little flowers and fruits and whatever. She still has her, I left it on, her original price tag at State Shirley's Dollhouse in Wheeling, Illinois for $15. Um, she's got a, a little skirt and then her, her socks, like they, you know, she's got this on. I guess that like in, in, implies her shoes. I mean, her socks. And then she's got her, her, her shoes are these little flat pieces. So there you go. Carmen Miranda. Girl doll. This one? Okay, you got it for $5. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Okay, then I have this girl, she's got, a, I believe her face is either, por I don't think it's, I don't want to say porcelain, I think it might be paper mache. Her hands are, are, are um, plastic, her legs are plastic, she's got shoes that come off, she's so pretty. Look at her. She's beautiful. She kind of has like a sailor type of outfit on, right? Like the, gosh, remember when that nautical look was, that was a long time ago. And I remember one shirt I wore it to death and a suit because I had to wear suits to work. And I had this navy suit that looked like I was like, <laughs> So oh, she's a lovely, lovely little lady. Okay. All right. Then I have. I'm gonna grab these. You guys, these are the best enamel pots I've ever seen. They have the least damage. I they need a little wipe. You know, but they're not, they're in great shape. I mean, this is like the only like maybe blip, hardly even. I mean, and you know how I love, actually, I love the wear. But some people don't. So I've got the small one, which is six in diameter, six in diameter. And the large one is almost seven. Um, the small one is like about three inches high and the tall one or the big one is almost three and a half. So um, you've got the little white one and the little and the bigger blue uh, yellow one. I mean, I just think they're great together because, you know, they're both so clean. But you could just hang them in the kitchen on hooks right here. You got the hooks. And this has got some heft to it, boy and girl doll. So you want the ones that are that are left for both of these five dollars? You got it. Six dollars. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So if you're interested in one, 
if you're interested in the other, if you're interested in both, you can make an offer. You guys, these are seriously in such good condition. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I need to turn off my volume. I've got a lot of books, but I've kind of got them spread out so I don't book you to death. All right. I can't meet Andy Cap. Bunch of of um, comic strips by An of Andy Cap. If anybody remembers him, he was a uh, bit of a smart A and a bit of a he's it says the slyest, laziest, surliest, least useful and most hilarious cart character to come along in years <laughs> and I remember reading it when I was younger I don't know if I always like if it was meant for me yellow pot five you got it Nancy thank you Linda But anyhow, so there's the Andy Cap. He, he was a little, I think, I feel like he was just a little, maybe a little raunchy, a little edgy, maybe. Like a little non-PC. <laughs> so anyhow, Andy Cap. Um, then there's this, here comes Daredevil. And if your kid or husband is like a, it, it reads like this, like a comic book, but up and down this way. And it says that it guest stars Spider-Man. So this could be very special. Um, I don't remember any, I'm not, I'm blocking out all my original research. So I don't think of myself as losing money. <laughs> it's just like, nope, I'm not even thinking about it today for the most part. Um, it, it's from uh, 1967. 1967, Daredevil, the man without beer. None are so blind. The mystery of the masked marauder. <laughs> so there's that. And Daredevil book, $5. You got it, Samantha. And Samantha, my apologies. I have been up to here in this stuff. So this will go with your other order, okay? It's, I found a box that was like an inch too short and I did not wanna, you know? So I'm very sorry. Okay. And then I have, for some of us, this is a, a very dear, oh, you're fine, you're fine, um, memory to me. Um, it was really the movies for me that were the memories, but um, ages 7 to 11. Um, and it's Pippi Longstocking. And there are other Pippi Longstocking books. This one is from... Uh, 1970 and it was reprinted all the way through oh 1950 renewed 1978 and went through all the way through 1986 printings so it is and I felt like yeah there's a couple little pictures and uh yeah I I remember going to yeah, she was a little, a little, maybe a bit of a brat. And nothing really intimidated or scared her, <laughs> is what I would definitely say. She was a bit of a, 
sassafras, as I would say. So anyhow, Pippi Longstocking. As a youngster, yep. I used to, uh, uh, Jacqueline, do you know where the villa is? It used to be on like 36th or 30, it was like between 35th and 37th and on Villard. That's where I used to go and see it all the time. That's where I went and seen a lot of movies back in my day, actually. Yep, because I grew up on 57th and Villard. I don't know if I told you that. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. I got the... Uh, is this on here? Where is it on this other side? Oh, this is probably further back to the... Yeah. Got this, what I'm calling the 80s pillowcase. I know the 80s are back. I know. It's in great condition. As far as I can see. Yeah. It's kind of got the mauve and, and gray and bluish. Like pale and they're mixed together. All that sort. So, anybody for the pillowcase? Okay, I've got these, what I call leg gloves. Because <laughs> honestly, like, you could put them on your hands if you want. When it's colder out, you know, because it'll cover into your, and then you'd have free hands to do whatever. But otherwise, you um, put them on, you put your boots on, and you kind of put them right here. So you got this interest. They're pretty, and it's, you know, it's like, it looks pretty on the side, right? Like your boots under there. You know, cute boots. I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, <laughs> snow boots. I mean, you can do what you want to do, but I'm just saying. So anyhow, they're super cute. It, I, I have the world's largest calves, even though... I have lost weight now and it's mostly been that fluid in my calves and or my legs. Um, I still <laughs> would not be able to because I'm just tree trunk legs. That's what my mom used to say. So anyhow, there's these. Let's see. Got this pewter set. I think I showed it last week, I believe. It's the American Pewter set, and it has these characters, Lillian Loudon, Mrs. Applegate, Snake Eye Jake, Miner, Lady Traveler, and Mr. Greller. Okay, and um, it's the Americana Pewter Collection. Contains six different pewter figurines. It's from 1993. And I will try to, um, I'm going to pull it out, but uh, it's upside down. See, that's what happens every time I do this. Anyhow, here's the, here's two of them, Lily Loud and, and the Miner. And they're all in there like that. So, set of six pewter. And if you know somebody that's into pewter, I mean, this would be a nice little gift. So. Then I have a Longa Burger basket. Mm -hmm. This one is Longa Burger Handmade Baskets in Dresden, Ohio, in case you didn't know. Um, I have family, ex-family, but some of them are still considered family to me, um, that live a couple miles down from the basket building. And that means like a handful of miles away from 
Longaberger land. Um, and um, the basket the building, it's so sad. It's just kind of fallen, like it's in disarray. It's like they just let it go. I don't know how that would happen. It's so cool to see. I've heard they were going to turn it into a hotel, which I think would be fantastic. And I think it would be very well occupied. And, um, and then I heard somebody else was going to buy it and this, that, and the other. So every time I go, I'm like, please let the basket building still be there. Because it just made my heart kind of go skip a beat because it's just the coolest thing. This big basket building, you know? And um, and then, like I said, we, we were... Um, my uh, ex-husband and I had just gotten married when they did the, when they built the homestead portion of um, all the Longer Burger stuff. And so we were out there at that time and um, we waited in the longest line ever to get this Crawford barn raising or whatever it was. Um, uh, it was a basket i've sold it since um just probably in the last five years or something but um anyhow yeah it's cool cool area to be in cool you know antiques and all that stuff so um this basket is uh probably one of the smallest uh nor uh longer burger things i've ever seen so but they're still the pricing is so crazy there it's six and a half by, I believe, yeah, six and a half. The handle goes up like a few and a half inches, a few inches. And um, I believe it was made in 2004 by JSC. And of course, you know, these are some very, very well-made. Some They're the best. They're, they're Petersboro and Longaburger are the ones you hear about, right? And Longaburger, this was a family name. They sold the company, I believe. And that's why everything's kind of, you know, changed. But anyhow, if you have ever wanted a Longaburger basket, or if you just need a basket, you could possibly get this today cheaper than you could get a regular crappy basket at Goodwill. <laughs> so, there you go. Okay. I've got this for artsy stuff. Right there, you see? Oh yeah, great idea. Um this is like, there's so much of it on here. I don't even know. I was going to keep it because of all the art stuff. I, but you know what? I have so much. So it's a, a it's not real, it's not terribly heavy, but this would be cool for, you know, different arting and um, like even junk journaling. You could glue this along the edges and stuff like that. So it is, it is pretty cool. Um, and I don't know how long it is, but I'm, I imagine it's many feet. Many, many feet. Yeah, it's like, um, oh wait, or is it, you're saying, is it plastic or metal? Um, let me see if I can tell. I think it's metal. I think it's metal. Oh, Denise is in it for $4. Are you interested in it, Lindunita? Oh, thanks. See, when I hit it against this, I don't think that it would do that if it was plastic. So, I do believe. Well, no, no, it was me doing this. So I believe it's metal. Linda Nista. Um, Nista, I said. Nita. Um, it, it, you'd have to be in it for five or more. Yeah. And um, Linda, do you, or I mean, I'm distracted right now. Um, um, Denise, are you in it for uh, six or more?
Right now it's between the two of you. Six. Okay, Lindunisa, Lindunita. <laughs> I've been saying the word fashionista lately. I don't know why. It's all, there's a lot in here, though. Yep, I see the six. I'm looking for seven or more. I mean, this is really, like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is really interesting. I mean, because you could, like, just edge the, let the edges, you know. Okay, you got it. You're going to Denise for $6. Thank you. Okay. You know, since I just did that, let's do this too. This is um crafty. <laughs> um it is crafty and it is see it's hard now because I shifted. But that's okay. Well, maybe we'll <laughs> maybe we won't go through it just yet. Um here. Okay, so this is just this bunch of a fuzzy trim. I have no idea how much there is in here because it is taped, okay? I am not untaping it because I did that with something else and it's everywhere. It is everywhere. So I don't know how many feet or whatever there are in here, but here's another thing that you could do the same thing with. It's great for edging. This is really good in junk journals because it's not bulky, but um, no, not, well, no, I don't think so. I can't say for sure, because I never know what's in a bag, tote, <laughs> but I don't think so. If you're looking for a certain one, though, Kaz, let me know, because I see some really cool ones on my shopping excursions. Okay, so nobody for the, the, the bunch, the sponge, the trim, whatever you want to use it as. Okay. All right, so. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to mix some in. I'm not gonna, so I'm not just doing all jewelry at once. So here's one pair. Um, these are like posts, but they hang. And they're green. With the, the top one is like a little, got a little glitter in it. But it's, they're green. And, you know, they got, two, well, I guess they got two different backs. They work, you know. I lose backs like crazy. So, if anybody's interested in these, throw out a price. And then I have these Milwaukee Brewers earrings. I just don't go to enough games to make it, you know, to use them. Um, they are really, I like the way they go on. They go on like this. And then clip like that right there. And I like it because they're cabochon that, that like kind of bubbles out like. And um, so I just kind of keep them together like that. I hook them together. But um, so yeah, they're little Milwaukee Brewer earrings. So maybe I can meet up with you on Saturday. Um, no, I don't live in that area anymore, but Saturday is just not good because my daughter is going to be 
in town for the weekend, and that's my day. Um, I can get back to you because I don't know what my time frame is. I don't know what my slot is, but I can get back to you. I'm, I'll try to text her tonight and find out. Okay? But we can meet, and in, in, that's fine. We can meet in Tosa because, you know, I have plenty I can do there, you know. I will. Okay, so, no? Okay. Um, all right, next then I have... Okay, remember those uh, postcards? A lot of you um, got the postcards, the bra postcards, right? I have the rest of the book left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe 16, maybe 17. I don't know. One fell out. So the rest of the book is here and available. All the different postcards. Some of you bought some. Some of you might want to buy some now or buy them. Oh, I like that one. So like, so like 15, 16, 17 of them. I don't know how many. But they're really cool. Now see, this one would have that, that dress <laughs> in it. I lost bulges and found economy. Stop torture. Stop chafing seam torture. <laughs> oh, so funny. I just think some of these are just, they're just terrific. That's all. So, yeah. Anyhow, the bosom. <laughs> and they go throughout different years. Become a lovable undercolor agent. Undercolor, get it? And then there's some for the booty. <laughs> and these are the weirdest things I've ever seen. So, and the body. So wrong. This is cute. She's, she's lovely. This one that fell out is a bunch of undies. So if anybody's interested in the raw postcard, whatever book you want to call it, then there you go. Um, okay, I have um, this trio from Party Light. These are amazing. They're I finally got all the three, the set of three, I, I had at different times, I had different colors, and then I finally had all three of them. So there, this, there's this, I'm trying to see if you can, like, see the light the best. That's pretty good right there, though, that green. And then we've got that, that, like, gold, amber gold. And then we've got the purple. Now, you don't have to use them all together or all at once or all in the same place. You can have a, have a different one in different um, vignettes. You, you might be a candle lady and you might want just all of them all over your place. These are light. So, um, you know, this is, a, this is quality, even though it's not like, you know, I mean, there's probably like you, you, the upper echelon of things that you would think. Party light is good. They just are very commercialized, I guess is the way to put it. But they're they're still good. I love, I love this set. They're just not my colors. Like, well, purple is one of my colors. But I don't know. I I would I'll, I would like to keep these all three together. But you know, if I can't, then I can't. That's fine. If you just want to buy one, that's fine. 
Okay. Um, got the Avon Pomander. Pomander. I can never say it right. The First of all, the box is adorbs. Look at that. And then here it is. Oop, here it is. There it is. Whatever. Oh, how cute. God, look at you. That is adorable. He reminds me of the owl from, um, what was it? Schoolhouse Rock? <laughs> Party House. Three for six. You got it, Nancy. Nancy is financially supporting me this week. <laughs> So the little, um, yeah, that's cute. I don't care. I'd keep this. <laughs> um, okay. Like where am I in my, in my ramblings of items? Um, Now I know. Okay. Got the, um, this is a white cat made in Taiwan. I think it plays You Are So Beautiful. Or, no, you light up my life. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Enough. Sitting on a pillow, getting me demonetized. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know where I... Uh, I don't know where I wrote it, but... So obviously you can tell that this is um, a really well-made, nice, um, vintage uh, kitty kitty. Got flowers on it in good shape. Okay. Okay. Got this. Starbies, because I can't keep them all. I can't. I might, but I can't right now unless nobody buys it. <laughs> Starbies. Uh, coffee. That's what it says. And it is from 0, 05 or 06. I think 05. Pretty sure it's 05. I love blue and green together. Nope. Okay. All right. I have got this, um, where am I even on this thing? little mini wicker stool it's just a few inches but so cute to put like a candle thing on it or a little like if you're into dolls or some little dolls or little teddy bears I 
I really never imagined that I'd have a sale where I'm saying, you can tell me how much you want to pay for it and that hardly anybody is buying anything. I mean, I guess it might be because, you know, probably because you don't like it or something, then that's understandable because we all have our own tastes. All right, I have got Nah, I think I'm not gonna sell that unless I want to get Okay. Um got this. Um what I would consider to be kind of a fall color, but they're just natural, so you could use it anytime. There are four of them. Set up four. You need more eyeballs in your stuff. Have great items. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, I know. I used to have like a hundred every week. And uh, some people don't like me anymore. So some people went with them, apparently. And don't want to stay with me at all. Three and a half. Then there are some people that just don't care and do what they want to do because they're their own people. Three and a half inches. I'll throw it in your pile, Nancy. <laughs> so, um, there are four of these. They're like that kind of natural, um, I don't know who they're even, I don't know that, I'm like, I looked all over. I'm like, are they pure one? Are they, you know? But, um, they're cool beans. They're, I just like the colors, you know? I like a natural color. And to me, this isn't like a, um, it's not like the orange I'm wearing. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any brass bells. I don't have any out here. I don't know if I have any in any of my bags. It's possible. Okay, uh, then I've got, oh, the amber vase. I mean, you guys, wow. This has a pontel mark, okay, and it's like a swirl. Do you see? And I just had this in there because, you know, four, 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 four placemats in, in here, uh, Samantha. And, okay, I'll keep that in mind, Linda. So yeah, that and, and this would look cute. I like this little bunch that I find, found recently. You know, all, you know what would look really cool in here? Big old chunky um, hydrangea. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, and yes, uh, Samantha. This, I think, just needs a little bit of a cleaning, but I think it is meant to be like that anyway. And I don't even know how to describe it, like fluted. <gasps> Hi. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Beth, aren't you, are you like on um, spring break or something? Or I don't know. Yes, I did, Nancy. Beth, I'm doing a, a clearance, so... It's a ten dollar minimum. If the if the ten dollars isn't reached, two dollars is added on, and it's basically a name your price. Isn't this cool? I think it's kind of like a Coke bottle color, is the way I would describe it. It's soft on the outside, and it's like got that texture on the inside. 
and um, it's very cool. And you could put um, a, a, I'm looking, I'm so behind. Oh, gotcha. Yes, exactly, Samantha. I When I saw it, I was like, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's not the one that I wish it was. But, yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's like kind of uh, wonky, you know what I mean? Like, it kind of, you know, up and then oh, it comes in different places. But I think it's cool. So there you go. And I got... got um this little elephant Japan you knows me cute Very happy. This <laughs> ring, which I probably could put on a finger, but I, I'll i just keep it on my pinky because I do not want to. Um, it would fit. And it's weird because I think it's actually meant to be like that? I don't know. It's just that one of those funky plastic ones. It reminds me a little bit of that, um, follow that bug, Katie, Kate, or Kate? Yeah, Kate. Reminds me of something she would wear. It's actually, I have, I have the ring sizer. So I would say it's just kind of like, it just depends on where it lands, that I would say this is about a size, I don't know, whatever you, whatever you could call that. I mean, seven would be accurate because I... Yeah, I mean, I think it might be a seven. Just this plastic, funny little pin. Thank you, Christy. Glass. This, this one, Nancy, you got it. Got got this bracelet that says Gypsy Soul, and you can make it whatever size you want. And of course, I picked the hole that was not used, and I don't have the strength. So let me put it on a different one that I, if I can. It's not that you can't get it through, it's just that I can't, you guys. Because here, here we go. Um, Gypsy Soul. Isn't that cool? It was made by, I don't know, Danny might have made this or one of the art girls. Oh, so it's just like a belt, like a mini belt. If you need more thing, nubbins or, you know, holes, you can just pound them in there. So it's super cool. 
and it's it's got like a um a maroon or wine or whatever colored base I guess you would say Then I've got this one. This is this takes a minute to put on. <laughs> this is one of those wrap rounds. It's all one bracelet. And it's all, it looks cool. I mean, it was, I would, it, yeah, it would be so cool if it was all separate. So it's cool that it's all one, too. You know what I mean? So I'll show you. I've got this um, 1984, I think it says Andu, it's Italy, Andu, Eric, or something, and it's it's Italy, and it's got a clock here, so cute, from Italy, it's adorable. <laughs> Okay, we've got these bracelets, $3 for the bell. Okay, you got it. Sorry, I'm just a little off. Oh, here. One dollar, three. And which one, Nancy? I think this one, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then I have these, um, there are four of them. I just did this because just to keep them together, but, um, it's, there's this like a, le like a brown natural leather color and then there's like a maroon color and then there's a white and then there's this dark, dark brown, almost looks black. Yeah, it might even be black. I don't know anymore. I, I can't tell. So, I'll show ya one of them. I mean, and you could wear them all together at once. And they are leather, so they'll stretch a little for ya. Or not, if you're, you know. But they would look cool all together. The way I wore them. <laughs> I, I, I'm I such a matcher. Sometimes it's ridiculous. I would like be like, okay, I need this and this. Okay, because these are my kids' school colors. And yeah. 
that was me. So four leather bracelets, eight dollars. You got them, Linda Nita. Thank you. Okay, I've got this super cool chunky um, keychain clip. Um, it's, uh, I think it, it, yeah, it says Kathy Von Zeeland on it. Like, cause here's like a little purse emblem. And then on the other side, it says Kathy. And then it says Von Zeeland on the bottom. It was off of a purse. Um, you know, cause we were at the bins and I just took it off of the purse. I didn't want the purse. So, um, here's like where you could put your keys and then this is where you would clip it onto whatever your belt loop or your purse or whatevs. And then there's like this, a fleur de lis. And then there's this, a little crystalish, like, you know, crystal. I say crystal, it's like, you know, plastic heart. And then this cool heart. Big and chunky, I love. It. It's like a cool color. Yeah, it is, a, it is a good brand. So it's like a, that, oh, what is that called? something night like Mal malachite malachite is that the color or whatever the kind of uh, metal that is I'm not sure um Alexa is malachite a metal no malachite is not a metal it is a non-metallic mineral that is commonly found in various rock formations around the world while it may appear to be a dark green color, malachite is not magnetic and does not behave like a metal. There you go. So I, I maybe I'm using the wrong word. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I would be, yes, I would be picking this apart or I would just be clipping this onto something just because I, I like all that. I'm, I'm, I'm so extra. That's why. <laughs> Okay, and I've got this little, uh, like, mid-century modern straw fruit basket. Well, it's not a fruit basket, actually. This one's a flower one. Hematite. Thank you. I knew it was something with ite at the end. Because I used to have a hematite bracelet from uh, Leah Sophia. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, this is a nice little size. Good to put like jewelry in or, or, um, well, it depends what room you got want to use it. Okay. You got it, Linda. Thank you. All right. Um, I got these two cross stitch or needle, whatever. They're on, I think they're cross stitch. They're on the white, they're on the white plastic, whatever. This one's a Christmassy one. This one's like the Eastery or summery one. Just two little, two little coasters. You know, for single people like me. Okay. I have these um, vintage 
Carly Davidson cards. There are 40 collectible postcards. I don't remember. I know I, I presented these to you guys once before. So there are either 39 or 40 because sometimes people take one out to use it and then the, the, they never use the rest of them again. Um, but uh, it's like new because, I mean, you... Open it, and then this was like wrapped around it. This paper was wrapped around it, and it was broke when I got it, but it was in there. And actually, it does say that um, if you have something that you feel is historically significant to Harley Davidson or the sport of motorcycling and would like to be in the archives and share with other enthusiasts please call or write. And these are valid numbers. I mean, this is valid. This is, you know. And so there's all these different, they're, they're all different. They're all vintage. Um, the actual card is not vintage, but the um, pictures are. And I'm just, I'm just grabbing out a few at a time. I'm not going to show all of them. That's what I need. Oh no, not with a sidecar though. I just need one like that. Like a bike. So somebody that's into Harley would really dig it. There's, there are, I mean, I know everybody's like, aren't there any motorcycles? Yes, there are. But these are, you know, old motorcycles, keep in mind. And and I believe Jacqueline lives very close to um this one, if I if I recall. Okay, so Jacqueline's at five with the Harley cards. Is there any any interest for anything more? And I live close to one of the other plants. So let me put these back in here. They are super cool. Super duper cool. I'm trying to get it in the way it was intended to be with these strings, but it's very hard and, you know, nearly impossible. And I think if they're, yep, they're yours. They're yours, Jacqueline. Okay, I have this little coach. See? It's a... Um, just this little case, it's yellow and red, and it's for like, I don't know, like, I guess like your credit cards. I would say it's for your cards, credit cards. It's very, you know, and if you have more than that, then I need to, we need to be friends, better friends. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, so I've got a um, bunch of matches. I've got this um, hollowing out bale bonds. Got a Dallas hard rock. 
got the Caesar's Palace. I've got this one that is very plain. It just says these matches are designed especially for damp climates, but they will not light when wet or after long exposure several weeks to very damp air. So maybe that's good for a survivor person. This is Metzaluma and Cantina. Uh, this is Smart Alex. This is the Black Eyed Pea. When I found them, I picked the ones I wanted. You know, I thought that was funny. Liberace for his Tivoli Garden restaurant. So if anybody's interested in those, um, you can give me one price for all of them. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets. And these are uh, the better ones that I've ever, you know, like I didn't pick out like the icky ones. Like, you know, when I was, when I bought them, I looked into, you know, which ones I thought were, you know, like Smart Alex, that's funny to me. The Black Eyed Pea, Bail Bond one, and you know, stuff like that. That's hilarious. So, okay, nobody. All right, then there are these two. They're matches. They're pink. And they're from the Flamingo. And then you strike them on the bottom. They're from the tra Miss Mistral, the Mistral. See, they're just that's just the tip. That's just pink. So two case or two boxes full. They're very cool. Okay. Now I'm telling you right now, if I don't sell these today, I don't know if I I don't, I don't think I ever will. Flamingo matches. Two for six. You got it. Perfect. Thank you, Jacqueline. Okay. I have two risque items in my, well, two obviously risque items in my sale today. This is the match, or the, the lighter. It's, it's from... I left it on here because I wanted people to be, I, I'm honest. It's from August 03. This little part right here, I think is missing, but it works. I mean, it, I believe like if you put the stuff in there, it would work. But what's more important is this part works. Like her, her stuff goes down, her uh, her outfit goes down. I can't show you because boobies and lady bits. But um, it is for real. And I get it as close as I can to see if you like her. I honestly cannot show you if, um, you know, you want me to f send you a picture, I could. So there's that. And I, I can't believe that I have not sold this. I, I seriously cannot believe that I have not sold this. But, yeah. And then there's the matches for Dick's Last Resort. You can't kill a man born to hang. You can't kill a man born to hang. 
And uh, there's that. And uh, the inside says this matchbox, this matchbook worth something. Mail it back and see. I wouldn't expect too much knowing what a tight wad dick is. He's been writing a book of insults that he may be, try to palm off on you. It's been, he's been typing for two months and only has one page, so I wouldn't be in too big a hurry. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so whatever. But then on the other side is Nikki Girl. She is Nikki. Um, that's why my hand is where it is. And, um, so yeah, there's that. And, um, let's put it this way. Either one of these, I would trade bodies with in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, how was about... Got this. Um, I know I wrote this one down. Well, anyhow, for now, I'll just start showing it. It doesn't matter if I have it. It's got the bottom. It's a apple, a Washington apple. It's chalkware and it's a bank. And there's the, the thing. And it's, you know, it's a little chipped up. Not terrible, but you know. And there it is. There. It's Bigger than a regular apple. Slightly. Light, lighter for You got it, Nancy. You got it. I have, um, no, it was just in front of me. Okay. Oh, I have these three I Spy cards that, um, I, I take, you know, I go through them and like, this is a Christmas one. And like these two are bunny Easter ones. So... You know, I would put them all three together. And I got a couple things. They're perfect to put in a flower frog at the time of the holiday. I don't have any uh, Halloween ones because I send all of those to Joelle. <laughs> Got this coin purse, just a natural, like woven, cool beans kind of coin purse. And 
I'm going to do some more jewelry. Um, these are silver. They need to be, you know, um, the, the, the crystal's not anything, but it is sterling silver and needs to be cleaned. And they hook, you know, so those would shine up. I just, I have so much and I'm really just trying to downsize things. Okay. Um, I'm going to do those. Um, these are, so I had these hoop earrings and I think I, I, I lost one of them. I don't know. But like, if you have a dark hoop earring or whatever, the hole goes through the hoop. And then these, you know, hang off the hoop. I don't have any hoop earrings right here or on me, but they're gorge. They're, I mean, they're just so pretty. And um, yeah, that's all I know, it's hard what to say. They just go through, like if you had a darker, like a, a silver earring or something, they would, they would, you would just put it through there and they would just hang uh, like a round hoop earring. They're gorge. I can't find the other one of this. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why. I, I love this ring, but oh, it does fit me. Um, I used to wear it on this finger though. Um well, maybe I'll keep it. It's sterling silver, so eh, I'm going to keep this one. Sorry. Okay. How about a brown, like, I don't know if it's leather. It's a bracelet that clips on. And I will measure. It's seven and a fourth. Seven and a fourth. So I don't think it'll fit around me. Or it will and it'll be just very tight you know but there's it's so cool i love i love that that's what happened is i probably bought it and then i my arm was not i didn't think about it before i i don't know you know sometimes when you're at a rummage sale or something i don't know wherever i was i you just don't think things through sometimes bracelet three dollars this one okay thank you Thank you, Lindu. Nita. Lindu Nita. <sighs> okay. You guys, I have had these since I think my sophomore year of college. And they are just rhinestone, rhinestone drop earrings. There's still nothing wrong with them. I don't know why certain things I just keep. I don't know why. And um, 
yeah, that's all I know what to say. I mean, that was the mid 80s. <laughs> the mid 80s. Uh, well, they're still all in there. They're all in there. They've been just sitting in a <laughs> jewelry box pretty much. I don't think I've worn them too much since those years. I don't know why. Or why not, I mean. Um, okay, this is sad because I I freaking love these earrings. Now they're all dirty, but I don't know. If you have that polymer stuff, maybe that's what this is made of. I don't know. But it broke and I lost it. Drop earrings. Okay, you got them. You got them, Jacqueline. Thank you. So, this is the first earring, okay, and it's all fine and dandy, except that it's dirty. And, you know, that's just probably from, I don't know what, being by my face and stuff, I don't know, or being in a box with other stuff. And then this one, I have everything but the rainbow part, okay? So maybe you know how to do the polymer or whatever that is. Um, so I would, I would include this because, you know, and I don't wear gold, you guys. I don't wear gold too often, but I loved these earrings. And I'm sure that could come clean instantly with some like hydrogen peroxide or something. So there's the, the one and a half rainbow earrings. <laughs> Okay, now these are different. They're cool. They are, these earrings, they go like this, okay? They're just straight like that. But I, like I curled them up. So they kind of looked like a hoop. But I mean, they look, probably look better just straight. You know, I'm just, I don't know. I was just trying something different. And so whatever. <laughs> so anyhow, they're wooden. They're very lightweight. Very, very, very lightweight. Little, and they're like that gold. That's a single earring. I gotta I find see if I find the other one. This one too. This I think I had other rings that I know go with this. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm just not gonna bother. Well, anyhow, then there's this one. Um, I know this is a single earring. I used to just wear it in my second ear hole here. I haven't worn two earrings in forever. I should need I need somebody to just work on it. Anyhow, I used to have this one in my ear forever. And then I don't know, for whatever reason, I was I had to take it off. And then, you know, I, I just never put it back on. Anyhow. And I know everybody doesn't just have two holes. Some people have different sets of holes. So, so I don't know. This might be uh, sterling silver. I don't know. It's kept up. Let's just say that. So a little silver. A little silver earring. Okay, 
Now I've got my, um, the, my whatever, um, the boho cloth, where am I? The yin yang boho cloth is it's a wash separately in cold water, pre line dried, pre shrunk, uh, sunshine joy made in India, 100% cotton. It has the little hooks on it, and there it is. There it is. There it is. And there it is. God, I gotta move on it. So there's that. Very cool thing, I think. Okay, then we've got the um, George Washington Carver book. And this book is from 1943. And A very cool and interesting thing about this book is that I have a picture that was in it and it is it says Dr. Carver received degree from University of Rochester and I um I did verify or whatever you want to call that this I I scanned it whatever and got the accurate yeah so this goes with it and somebody, whoever was reading it, it's funny because there's their little, there's their little um, <laughs> bookmark. Seven dollars. All right, you got it. You got it, girl. Thank you. I am telling you. Going backwards maybe was a mistake. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. I've got this little... Um, Dwight D. Eisenhower book uh, says favorite poetry, prose, and prayers. Um, it's just this little booklet. It might be good for like, I don't know, if you're into certain presidential things, if you're into um, using anything for, you know, uh, junk journaling or whatever. It does have like a lot of different poems. Um, they're not poems by him. They are presidents. They're poems that he liked. So, you know, it's not, and there's certain other things, prayers, like I said, um, there's the Lord's prayer, even. Um, so, um, it's not just, I mean, like here, Chinese saying, great men never feel great. Small men never feel small. So there you go. Um, and uh, whatever, there's just weird, po there's poems and all kinds of things. It's not just politically driven. So it's just a little booklet. Okay, I've got this beautiful album of horses and it just I've been wanting to show this to Val M for so long and I just never see her at the right times this is signed by the author um 
and um or not the author the illust wait which one yes yes the author it is signed by the author marguerite henry um and there are all these first of all the front and back are beautiful the ends are you know the book are you know a little beat up but this is the inside of and front of back front and back and then this is the book it's just a lot about horses the suffolk punch um the Percheron. It, it's got a the polo pony. It's got the whole um the whole uh it's got a table of contents is what I'm trying to say. You know. So there's that. Album of horses. And then by the same author, Marguerite Henry, I happen to have King of the Wind. And I love how it's got a stamp on it that says horses. <laughs> I, I, I just love that. I don't know why. I don't. It's I just torn here and a little bit jammed up here um, because it was discarded or whatever. But it's got table of contents in here whole story about whatever this king of the wind horse and that is that um let me grab grab some stuff And some of these are, you know, not, not, uh, you've seen them recently. Not all of them, just some of them. And then the, the, the things I have in bins that I'm going to get out are, you know, things from a little longer ago. Oh, I'll just have to make another grab. All right. I have the Sack Roots wristlet. Slash wallet. And then it's got a little clip there, you know, all the things, the zipper. And separately or together, whichever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? The purse. I don't know if I ever sold all the other purses or if I donated them, but I'm going to tell you right now, I might have just bought one back. I don't know. So, sack roots uh, inside. I love this one. I feel like this goes with everything. And then you got the big pocket in the front and the big wide open. With a couple of the little things right there. And it can be adjusted. So, sack roots, matchy matchy. You can buy one, you can buy both. Doesn't matter. Okay, I've got this Bake King tin. The 
make a whole a whole um village in here. Oh, speaking of village, next item. <laughs> I saw a baking, like a bowl or some a different shape, and I wanted to get it. And then I was like, "No, I still have the pan. Nobody's off. Nobody's bought that." <laughs> um, this is to me. They're very much like. Um, they might even no, they're not marked, but um, uh, Department Fifty Six does have. Are, they are made in uh, China, so this, you know, but I don't see anything that says. So uh, they're these little, great for vintage, uh, for scenes, for like if you're into the truck thing. Excuse me. Um, if you're into like uh, the train thing, I mean, or uh, different villages at the Christmas time and whatever, or for your. Uh, department 56 villages um, or you know for making a uh, your own little village um, there's even like look he's got the doors that go you know what I'm saying I got them back I got them in the wrong hands Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in here. Eight pieces. Pretty darn good. Glad I saved this bag because, boy, oh boy. This is a good one for it. So it's, um, what did I say? Eight or ten? Two, four, six, eight. Eight pieces. All right. The, the village fence for three dollars. Village fence for three dollars. Unless anybody wants it for more. Let me find it again. I, I just wrote it down. No, I didn't. Here. Okay, I am uh, losing my mind a little bit. Okay, um, and so uh, Lindanista, Lindanita wants them for ten, ten dollars. Linda, do you wanna um, do you want them for more than ten? Or Denise, 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 what did I say? Denise, do you want them for 11 or more? Okay, so Linda for 11. Linda Nita, do you want it for 12? Or, okay, 12. Denise? Denise is out. Okay, they're going to go to Linda Nita for $12. Thanks, ladies. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I have this McDonald's toy. It's the little little mermaid. Some lady wanted this one on on buy sell trade or whatever, 
And I'm like, I have that. And I was happy to give it to her, but then she never contacted me again. So it's Prince Eric from Little Mermaid. And I don't know, this thing moves. He's like on the water. I don't know if he's like a, a one that people really want to get. He's from 2022. Prince Eric from My Little The Little Mermaid. Okay. Um the um art smock that's still in the package for uh oh it has three handy pockets. And it's wipe clean vinyl. Um it is Um, uh, are unfolded. It's 15 and a half by 16. I don't know what that means by when it's, when it's, un oh, unfolded. When it's unfolded. Okay, I got it. It's 15 and a half wide by 16 long. Now I've got it. So that's not, that's like this wide. Okay, and this long, which goes to my, my, like, almost to my, like, to my waist. Yeah. So it's pretty good for a little kid. Yeah. Art smock. Great thing for little kids to play with grandma or mom. Never been opened. The school kit, this is the vintage school kit, has the pencil case, the pencil, the eraser, the pencil, um, the pencil uh, sharpener, and the ruler. And you know this is vintage. I mean, it's made in China, but this is, there's, there is, Made in China, and then there's the vintage made in China, and this is vintage made in China. And the package has never been opened. Okay. All right. This is so pretty. And it really has, I mean, it's, it's, I know I'm not going to get what its true value is, but I just, I'm just giving it a shot to put it out there because I can't keep all these things. So, um, it's, um, let's see here. About nine and a half or nine and little, little nine and a oomph by thirteen and three fourths. And it is just, it's beautiful. It just, it, I wish it was already framed. Because it's kind of hard like to present it like this. I mean, although I find it just fine being like this, you know? Like maybe put like at the bottom of a bulletin board, just poking it in there here and here and it hangs down. Because it's like a latch hook, I believe. I mean, it's, it's just so pretty.
Five dollars for this one. Is that what you're talking about, Samantha? I think. <laughs> okay, you got it. Thank you. All right. Best dog, I suppose. Whatever. <laughs> Yorkie. I am not, you know. So uh, it's by Juliana Swanee for Fringe, which seems like kind of like a, you know, like a mud pie or a, like kind of like a TJ Maxx kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. But it's a Yorkie. I, I mean, this is the part I like the best where it says, best dog. Mm -mm. So it's a, a coffee cup or it's a pencil, pen and pencil holder or Sharpies holder and, or whatever you want to use it for. Maybe it's to use to scoop out your, do your Yorkie's food. I don't know. How about a Starbies Christmas glass or uh, mug? It is from 2020. It doesn't have a lid, but you know, you can still drink it like in the house. You know, what I, mean? I wouldn't take this with me anywhere, anyhow. So it doesn't really matter if it has that on it to me. So, and it's got the pretty like pink kind of colors in it. I like that. Putting this, I should show this again because I keep setting stuff on it. This is just that cigarette case, and it looks like like Louis Vuitton or something. But this is suede right here, and this is canvas. And then there's a little pocket, and then you can put your whatever you want to put in there, whatever you want to put in there. So there's that. Um, okay, it's got the, um, the books, the tarot revealed, the back is just, this last page just wants to lose itself, which isn't a big deal, but the tarot revealed, I just think these look so cool together. The Song of Rhiannon. And look at the back. I mean, I just, I like the way these look, you know? And the Blue Star. And this is a adult fantasy book. So all three together or two or one, whatever. Okay. Okay, what about this Portugal? Lucite Portugal. It's to hold your pen, but let's be honest. It looks cool. Just a piece of Lucite that's from Portugal. The colors are cool. You can stand it up like this. You can lay it down like that. Either way, it's a cool looking piece. If you've ever been to Portugal or if uh, Portugal is a place you want to go and this would be a great like um inspiration then that would be a cool thing to get and it's lucite or acrylic whatever you want to say 
say what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> okay. And then, um, how about this one from yesterday? I got more for today, but and I got, I got plenty more to go on. Uh, how about this one that looks like a Jim Shore? I just think this one's fantastic. And it was actually, um, it's, it actually is like, think a Yankee candle topper, which is probably, you know, $50 online or something. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, this, um, this entire, like, little baggie, baggie of gallery of stitches by Busilla. Uh, there's this one and some of them, I can't guarantee what's all in them, but there's like all this kind of stuff. Some of them are open, some of them not. Um, and then there's all this other stuff with them. Um, there's these other pages from like those books that would be like how to do this, how to do that in the house, you know, back in those days. So this whole, this whole booklet or a uh, bag of booklets, whatever is one thing. Are people afraid to just say like a dollar or two dollars? Cause like some of this stuff, I'd rather have a dollar than have it still because quite frankly um i have to get my stuff out of their way like i have a shelf downstairs that was meant for my art stuff and i have my art stuff down there but then i started leaving all this stuff here because you know oh it's just a little bit oh it's just a little bit and you got it linda nita and um, it was just a little bit. It was always just a little bit, right? And um, and then one day, the hubby um, said, we got to do something about all this. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you got it, Samantha. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have to, I, otherwise it's going to kill me to, to, I, it, I won't be able to, I, it's going to be so hard for me to, to, um, donate a lot of stuff. And I, I can speak freely because they're not home, but, um, I like, it, it, it kills me to have to get rid of stuff. I'd rather keep it and then like kind of work some of it into another sale. But at this point, I really have to make decisions on certain things. And the thing is, I don't want to get rid of some of this stuff. I mean, there's like certain stuff I'd rather keep. Like this, <laughs> just noticed another thing I'd rather keep than, than just give away. Or, I mean, you know, donate. And um, so, yeah, I am just, I mean, like these, it, it kills me. I actually want to keep one because I just think they're so cute. Um probably keep the old woman that lived in a shoe, I suppose, because the shoe is pink. Um, but Mary, Mary, quite contrary, she has these cute little flowers. Oh my gosh, you guys, and they're, these, these are really valuable. I mean, I, I, I was like, oh my god, I forgot all about those things. But anyhow, then there's cock-a-doodle-doo, and there's not all the, there's only some of them have a ribbon like that or the yarn and there's the cockadoodle doo and y'all have to buy all of them there's a uh, sheep and it's got like luke 15 3 through 7 I, so some of these might have been like church school used or something 
They're from 1978. Um, here's a camel. Genesis 2464. That doesn't matter to you know if you don't if you're not religious, don't worry about it. It's not, you know. Um, a rooster, another rooster, which would be cute if you had both of the roosters. Okay, two different ones. Um, and the lion and the donkey. I know so many people that used to collect donkey stuff. And where are they? Because <laughs> I've had donkey stuff. <laughs> it's so weird. I mean, maybe it wasn't at, in this time, but I used to know people that, that did donkey stuff, you know? That sounded weird. Or wrong. Or something. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so any of these... I'm keeping the old woman that lived in a shoe unless somebody puts up big money for it. But these are so dang cute. And this is such a, like, a memory I totally forgot I had. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, you know. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? I always remember that from... Rudy, my favorite movie. Cute little flowers. That's a cute looking rooster too. It is calendar behind me three. Okay. Thanks, Nancy. Um uh Julie, it is a Torrid 4, which is a 4X or a 26. And I can tell you that it is, um, it is, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very bust complimentary. And, um, and, how come I can't find what I'm looking for now? Well, 1978. I don't know where it is. Uh, um, and it's kind of loose. And I wear XL or large. Yeah, no, it's too big for you. I mean, like it was dropping off my shoulders. Even it is beautiful though. Um. Okay, I'm just trying to find this thing. To write down for Nancy. I'll just write it separately. Okay. So nobody on those. Um, then I have the um, these dry erase boards. They're um, graph skill skills boards. Coordinate coordinate grid. I have three of them, and I'm sure they could be. Like cleaned off better, you know, things that have been used for dry erase, I'm sure. Um, and there's the black back of them too. And I'll give you a measurement. Um, this would be good for teachers or whoever, I guess. It's 13 by 10 and 3 fourths. 
10 and 3 fourths by 13. 10 and 3 fourths by 13 for each one. Well, I mean, there are three available. Three available. Okay, I've got this, um, it's called New Chalk, and I believe this is, they taped it closed, but I believe, and it's Hong Kong, no, yeah, no, wait, Maine, USA, what am I talking about? Um, it is, um, I believe that is, a Woolworth mark, 25 cents. For some reason, I can't quite remember, but I think that's their little symbol, 25 cents, their little, their little blue mark there. Anyhow, if you like, um, like a clown or a jester, this would be a cute little addition. Or if you keep like art or school supplies, like if you, collect those. This would be cute. So I don't think all 12 sheep are in here, but there's a lot in there. Okay. I've got this. The backside is, you know, damaged, but I've never seen such a good front side. And I like it that it's not that wine bottle one. I think it's cool that it's the Vegas one. I mean, more people, have, I think a lot of people have been to Vegas. And like, if you're married, if you were married in Vegas, this would be cool. Or if Vegas is your like place to go, this would be cool. I've got this, it's like a, I think it was off of a, like a, um, box, like a, you know, I can't remember the word. I get worse every day. Um, a box that you keep you know, little things in, you know what I'm talking about. But it looks like it was broken off of one. So it's blacker and I just think the top is cool. It's like a fantasy look and if it looks cool, like you could put a piece of um, Velcro on it, you know, and put it up or, uh, you know, just prop it up in a, in a little vignette. It's super cool. It's that like, lacquer um from like a trinket trinket box there it is but it's just this it's like five by seven or something i don't know whatever okay i've got the the nut tin i don't think i wrote this one down the nut tin. It was supposed to be like you opened it and then the that was when the snake thing came out. But now it's it it doesn't have this one doesn't have that in it. Unless you could make one or find one. Um, but it I thought it was cute. Like little fancy salted nuts. Especially if you have like a bar, you know, that would be cool. Behind the bar. Oh, excuse me. Okay, and then I've got these stickers. Um, there's this single one with no, with a missing butterfly. And then there are
and you can, there are five of these and this one. So you can do single or, uh, uh, you know, all, whatever, however many, you know. And of course, the thing is with single, with um, vintage stickers, they might not stick. So use a glue stick underneath. Like if you're, you know, junk journaling with them or something. And this was a compliments of S.C. Johnson Wax employee stores. And that is in uh, Racine, Wisconsin, I believe. Just like Whitman. All of that jazz. I don't know why I always thought there would be somebody out there that collects stickers, too. There's some certain things to that. I always thought somebody would, you know, be collecting. Okay, this box that I couldn't get open last time and somebody was making fun of me. I didn't like that, but anyhow, what are you going to do? Um, because I don't know. First of all, I have no, no you know... Like, I don't know if it got messed up or disaligned or something because it did have, it did use, it did open. Like it did just like come right open when I would do that. So I don't know why it's not doing it, but there's, oh. <laughs> Well, there it is. Um, and you have the cards like the A, B, C. Oh, no. January, February, March, all that. So you could use it for whatever you want. And um, and the thing that's cool about it is that the handle goes all the way down. So you can stack on top of it. And it wouldn't be like bumpy because it's flat. So that's what I thought was interesting and cool about that okay let me grab a few more things here and then i'm gonna just get up and go around pretty soon i would i like uh, i might just take you over there at some point that's what i did yesterday and, and we're almost done with we're almost done with these um items and then I'll have more okay I got this um, stained glass looking fruit tin um, fruitcake sampler from Wisconsin actually and I know a lot of you collect tins or use them this is one that's pretty on the side, so it looks cool if you are stacking it. Yes, you absolutely can. I don't, I don't, um, what's the word? Ship. I don't ship until Friday morning. <laughs> okay. An Alaska cabin cookbook alaska magazine's cabin cookbook uh sourdough hotcakes candied rose hips cranberry bread mm -hmm. blueberry omelet yum what i never would have thought of that with a fork, eggs, and well, I'm gonna take a picture of that. Um, mince meat drop cookies, venison goulash, braised venison, burger stuffed peppers, garlic shrimp. Okay. 
And I've got this set of two 25 Oh! <laughs> and Lindunita just bought it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Lottie, you are the best. Oh, my gosh. See, I love, I love you guys so much. I love you guys. I mean, I love Lottie the most, but <laughs> I love you guys. This is awesome. Oh, um, okay, where is my, where was my, here we go. That is so funny that, because she could not have seen that. Linda Nita could not have seen that. And so, um, $25 to... That is awesome. Oh, I'll I'll apply it to today. That's fine. That's great. <laughs> All right, you guys, anybody uh sailors or boaters or I don't know, just like to sit by the water? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I I could probably apply it. I I think I, I'll apply it to the person who has spent the most. How about that? Would that make you happy, Aunt Lindu Nita? There you go. If anybody's interested in this cute little set, I've got a couple things over here we're going to go look at. And then we're going to come back here and I am going to um, then I'm going to, sorry, Oof, you do not need to see my fat face. And then I've got plenty more to go through. If you guys want to see some Christmas, I can do that. Um, whatever. It's gotten to be quite the mess. All right, this is out. All right, let me turn it around. Oh. Turn it around. All right. So I've got this little rocking, but rock, it's, I'm pretty sure it's Japan. Because I looked it up. This sticker's a little wonky, but it's a little rocking horse. Doesn't have a little thing on the bottom, but. Ah, that's cool. Okay. Got this. U.S. Air Force. Let me see if I can open it with one hand now. U.S. Air Force pen. I'm not left-handed, but I can try to see if it. Make sure it works. Wait, let me try the hands. I can't do it. Uh, well, I can't get it to work, but I don't know. Maybe it might, it might work, or it might just be something that's just prestigious, you know, or collectible. I'm not sure. 
So there's that. Okay. Um, I've got these little shoes. I, I've there are there's like a couple of, there's like I think there's one set that matches these two. Um, I don't know if any of the other ones match another one. Um, no, I don't think so. Look at a popsicle phone. Just a bunch of Barbie stuff. Bunch of Barbie stuff. Okay, moving on. Um, the um, Angie, here's a Vera. It's a bit bigger than maybe you want it. But like I said, next week I'm going to have a regular one in the sale. And then that, that it, it is a large bag. It's very good, though. I like that part of it the best. And I like the design. There's pockets on the sides. Yeah, very, very nice. So, Vera Bradley bag, the plaid, Pasley, Paisley on plaid is what it's called. And then I've got the the um, big Sassoon back in my day. Yeah, buddy. Big old Sassoon. A uh, duffel bag. Which is more square than anything, really. But, see. Yeah. That is vintage. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, then I've got the Forlorn River by Zane Gray. And um, I forgot there's what it was about this book. Um, 1927, 1926-27. And yeah, probably just because of the age I got it. I like to get the old ones. So there's that. Then I have four more of those cards. I have the Washington Monument. I have Ajax, <laughs> is what I call him. Andrew Jackson. Nixon. And Barack Obama. Any or all, which I I imagine <laughs> that's a mixed bag, so I don't know anybody that would buy all of them. And but then again, people are into the president, so it shouldn't matter. And then I have um the uh outdoor book, uh, the complete book of outdoor lore. All kinds of stuff. I mean, be good for a kid that goes camping or, you know, uh, hiking or anything like that. Be a good book. Um, then, yeah, I guess I better be checking. Yep, yeah, no. Okay, then there's this purse. Great for a little vacation or whenever. It has a zipper. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> okay. And a little side pocket. So, it's very cute. I like this. Very summery. Summery or vacation-y. Whichever. Okay, then I have the sexy 
sheer. It needs a little steaming, you know. Well, it's got like tulip petal um, pockets, and then it comes down like to a V. <laughs> no, no pun intended. With all the little tulips, <laughs> and all the way up the side there. And then I, I just tied them onto here. See, that's what I mean. You can tie them onto the back of a chair. You could tie a bunch of aprons to the backs of chairs. That would be so cute. I got a whole box of math flashcards. These are... Um, uh, I forgot what year, here, here, 1965, 1965, these things are like brand spanking new, brand spanking new, except for the box, okay, and then there's the boho necklace, love this, Love the boho necklace. So pretty. Okay. Did I do this bunch? Yes, I did. Nobody wanted it. Um, okay, did all this stuff. Uh, this is from yesterday. And this. And this. Any of those? Anybody? Anybody? This would be cute for like a pencil cup. Or if you're into games and stuff. And this is cute as an ornament. Super, super sugar crisp. And then this is just cute. Cute, cute. Whatever. Okay. And then we got the pretty boho necklace. All right. And then we've got this beautiful... macrame hanging. It might need to be, you know, just a little tweaking on the, you know, the that part maybe. You just hang it the way you want it. You could dip it and make it ombre or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let me check my nobody's okay now. Where shall we go? This is snuff next week's stuff. Next week's stuff. And this is next week's stuff. So I have this I could do. And I got, I got stuff over there and stuff over here. So, and don't forget about this beauty. 20, 28 inch waist. Beautiful. 20 or more on that one. All right. Now I'm just gonna. Now we're gonna. We're going vo rogue. How's, how's that? I was, I was gonna say ro vogue. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Okay. So, ladies. Oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta plug this back in. Otherwise, it dies. Okay, peeps, not ladies, peeps, because I don't know who's all here. And who's not, I know who's not here. Nancy Kell is not here. I miss her. Um, I haven't seen her in a couple weeks. And same for Mike. And maybe some other people. I wish Annette was here. I don't know if she has a day job. Or what? 
Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some of this first because this has been downstairs a little longer, so it's maybe, I think, anyway, maybe not. Does anybody want to see anything Christmas? Because that I will show at... You know what? It's Christmas. I'm saving that till July. That's not very far away. Okay. Okay, this wasn't so long ago, but... Okay, let me get to a, a clean page. Well, that was a waste of me getting up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I know what we could do before we move on. Um, so the uh, yesterday, the thing I did oh, was... I just I just dragged this over here and now here I go. Okay, I just um yesterday what I did was I had like five regular price items. Not nah. and they were like higher price, regular price, you know. Well not all. I shouldn't say that. Where's my pen? And um whew. so Here's some of what that was, and then I will add into that. And Velma, are you here? Okay, so. This cool road runner. It has a little bit of a nick on its nose. But if you put it like this, you would never see it. You would never know it. This is the last time you'll see this because either somebody buys it, please, 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 or I'm keeping it. It is $12. Just put 12 if you want it. These are, this is going to be a handful of claim things right now is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do a, I got one big thing that'll be an offer up. And then we'll go back to the clearance. Okay, twelve dollars. No. Okay. You are going home with me whenever I get home. <laughs> okay, I've got this Coach dust bag. It's huge. It was like, God, I don't know, like sixteen by eighteen or something. I don't remember, but it's large. It's for like shoes or a big purse or something and this is ten dollars coach dust dust jacket they call it I guess even though it's a bag I don't know so you just put in ten if you're interested um okay then there was this um, okay, so you're going to have to look at the outside first. Oh, wait, here. Okay, that's the top. Now, I can only open it for a little bit. The song is, So This Is Love. And, um, get a good look, because... I can't play it long or I'll get demonetized. Okay, and that one is 15 or best offer because um, that's one of the um, Nancy, I saw you for the Yahtzee Club. Yahtzee. 
Oh, Nettie already got that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even shown that. I forgot to grab it out of the... Nancy, I'm sorry. Nettie got that yesterday. I probably just didn't grab it. Okay. Um, okay. And then... Um, what else did I have in there? That, that. Okay, the glasses. I took out that. Okay. Um, there's this book. Which a lot of you may think I'm crazy, but oh well, whatever. Um, let me turn this around. Okay, set on. And this is the oldest book I've ever had. Oh, uh, do you see that? 1833. 1833. That is a book that this book is 191 years old. Hundred that's almost two hundred people. And um so it is a lot of different calligraphy and interesting languages, like language. The way it's written. It's just a very interesting book. My I might have to actually uh get my butt on to the, the eBay for this because yeah I don't know I mean I wish I knew how to do it I really do because 1833 people and see all these like critters that's that are drawn into there so that's how it goes all the way until the end. It's pretty much the same all the way through, a little bits of difference. Okay. And then that. And it's, you know, a little loose there. Um, but it's okay here. And the um, ends are like leather so they've just gotten tougher and kind of a little bit of the cardboard has shown so if you're interested for 200 or uh, make an offer um, then we can talk um, okay and then I had this book that um, is going to be an offer up also it's by sir walter scott it's called the lady of the lake and it's this little thing see how big it is you can't see it now and i that's why i'm asking if velma's here she asked about it and this book is also Edition 1830, you guys, 1830, that's 194 years old. This is crazy. So if anybody wants to make an offer and I'll see what you, yeah, I'll... Uh, the worst I can say is no. But otherwise, I'm going to reach out to um, Velma because she was asking about it. Okay, um, I got uh, two other things and then we'll go, well, three kind of, <laughs> and then we'll go sit down, but one of them I'll take him to sit down with because last night, it uh, took a while. Um, 
this beauty okay right there is where the dowel there's a big dowel in there and it's broken and they had it hung okay whoever it was they had it hung there okay from there but this could be a, a I'd, I'd use it as a rug so see if nobody buys it guess who's gonna be getting it dry cleaned and using it as a rug um not really totally my style but um it is very valuable and I'm not, I can't just this I will not be like you know whatever um I will not be sending to Goodwill or whatever um I'm asking um what did I ask I don't remember uh it was like I think a hundred so if you want to um accept that at a hundred or offer up or make another offer that is fine with me this is super cool And I could just roll it up and send it that way. I mean, granted, yes, it will be heavy. Here's another item that I didn't put it up today because, you guys, that's a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, and last time nobody was interested, but maybe I didn't have the right people. So this is a... How many feet was it said I had? I think it was... Oh, I don't know. I'll sell you. Anyhow, it's blue lights already woven in. It's a blue Christmas tree comes up. And it is all blue. Blue lights. See? It's blue lights. It's four foot. And it's blue lights. It might look white on the thing, but they're blue. And I had a, I had it up, and I had them on um, at my last, at whenever that was that I, um, sorry, whenever it was that I sold it or tried to sell it. Okay, so, and now. Hang on. Okay. It's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Okay. <laughs> I gotta plug the or put this back up here. Man, oh man. All right. Now. Last night, we went through these, sort of, somewhat. <laughs> well, no, we went through them. Um, I gave you guys a choice of buying them outright, the book, or buying them separately as postcards. And that's what you did. That's what we did. So they're Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright postcards. You guys, they're gorgeous. They're going to be at $2 each is a deal. I'm, I'm telling you, $2 each is a deal. And I'll go through the ones. Gosh, why didn't I? Don't, I don't know if I. I just haven't decided on some of these yet. Because. They're beautiful. Okay, anyhow, I'll just, I'm gonna show it to you and you want it, $2. Yeah, I just gotta say it, just say something. This is Talis, Talison West 
in Scottsdale, Arizona. Clearly, that's at night. This is Frederick B. Frederick C. Roby House, Chicago, Illinois. So if you want it, just, just put the house you want, you know. They're $2 each. This is Tallison. No, I'm sorry. This is not, but it's in Wisconsin. Herbert Jacobs House in Madison, Wisconsin. This is the Malcolm Willie House in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is a daytime picture of Tallison West in Scottsdale, Arizona. See that that was that one. This is Herbert F. Johnson Jr. House Wing Spread. This one is in Wind Point, Wisconsin. This is the one I think that I need to go see. Well, I want to see. I, there's more of them in Wisconsin than I realized, but I have a couple of them that like are within a couple out like an hour or so. This one is Harold Price House in Paradise Valley, Arizona. This one is the Georgine or something, Georgine. Boomer House in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the Dr. Ina Harper House in St. Joseph, Michigan. Oh, this one's so good. This is the Curtis Meyer House in Galesburg, Michigan. This is the Douglas Grant House in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. this one too. E.E. E. Boynton House. And you know what, you guys, is E.E. E. Boynton, is that the one that was like, did those cartoon drawings of like, like a little animal that held a balloon and stuff like that? I feel like that is. And that, when I lived in California, I did it, I did my kitchen. It was like E.E. E. Boynton, um, it was Boynton like Southwest style. Oh, oh, I'm almost sure. Okay, thanks, Sam, Angie. I'm almost positive that that's, anyhow, that's the house, his house, her house, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Okay, this is Charles Ennis House in Los Angeles. Um, I think Aunt Nettie got a really, really good picture of this is I think this is the house she got yesterday. Okay. This is a, su a super cool view. I like um like architectural stuff, so I like the different views. This is Unity Temple, Oak Park, Illinois. 
I swear I told Nancy, we're going to go on like a, we could go on a tour. We could go Michigan uh, in the, or Illinois. Well, we could boogie over to in Illinois, or Iowa, a lower way, and then come back through to Wisconsin. Because then we go to Spring Green on the way home. Um, and then this one is, I love this too. This is the Oak Park Home and Studio. This is cool too. I mean, gosh, I like them all. Dwight D, or I'm sorry, Dar Darwin D. Martin House, Buffalo, New York. Then there's, oh gosh, the uh, Meyer May or Mayor May House, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids. And this one is the William H. Winslow House in River Forest, Illinois. And it's the last one. And I can't believe you guys, none, none, nobody wanted these today here. <laughs> Yesterday, everybody was into it. Okay, so let's do this. Where's my book? Oh, it's over there. <sighs> okay. Let's do this, you guys. These are Christmas. I can put this in the Christmas one. Okay. I've got this little furry puppy. Cute little fuzzy puppy. Got this vintage little bunny. Bunny. Okay. Got this. Um, I don't remember if this was from the game, the same game or not. It's 2003, but I just thought it was cute. People might be into like all this game stuff. And there's like a bee and a clown and a stool and a bat and a school. I'm uh, not a bat, an owl. And, you know, so I thought that was cute. So if anybody is interested. And then um, there's these too. These might have gone. Uh, in. Um, uh, this might have. I, they might go with the same thing because they were. No, this one's different. This one might have gone with. I don't know. This went with the Candyland game. And then there's these little kiddos, yellow, red, and green. So yeah, if you wanna make an offer for like uh, the grouping or whatever, you know, there's this. It was, um, Cross stitched. See, it's a, a napkin holder or whatever you want to hold, but it's it's I believe intended to be a napkin holder. How cute! Perfect for spring. Perfect for spring. Got some eyewash cups. Here's one. 
from, gosh, I don't remember. I wrote these down. And then this one is 1917, patent August 14th, 1917, John Bull. So um, I know one of these was more valuable. It might have been this big one. I don't know. I, I think I would ask at least five on each of these, at least five on each of these. I believe this one was pretty valuable, too. Okay. This. Is cool. This had some value from what I remember when I looked. It has some other pieces that go with it that are missing, but this is the iron, and this goes way back. It's a queen. It's queen. It says I don't have all the other information because you guys are doing clearance, so I'm not here to you know. You guys have seen these things before. But this, I would, I would want at least, at least five dollars. Any, okay, is anybody interested in it for six or more? Six or more? It's, uh... Iron or whatever you want. All right, it's going to you, Denise. Thank you. Okay, got a Mickey Mouse tote that I would ask at least five on this as well. Um, this is uh, Mickey and Co. And uh, it was made in China, but so was a lot of the Mickey Mouse stuff. Disney Honey Fashions, New York. Anyhow, it's, you can see the size of it from the bottom. And then it, it, where is it? <laughs> it, here it is. <laughs> it closes like that. Okay, and then you, you know, it can be very full, and then you've got straps to throw over your shoulder. Okay, and look at all the fun faces. Where is Lori today? Okay. Well, these are from the Four Seasons. They are a woman's, it says, woman, shoe stretcher. Keep your shoes nice and stretched or, or in shape. And this is plastic, but it looks like a tortoiseshell or whatever. And then it's got these, like, rounded bottoms. There's two separate ones. It's just that they're, you know, puffed together. So very, very useful, actually, uh, for traveling and stuff to keep your shoes. If you have certain shoes, you know, that you need to keep nicely formed. Or brand new shoes that you want to stretch, maybe. No. Oh. 
a warm up the little league for baseball book i would have totally had my kid on this when he was little if he wasn't in his 20s <laughs> Um, it's a 1971, it's 1973, the third printing, and it's, <laughs> I just saw a little jar, a little cup, uh, they got the little, hey, they got all, all the things, oh, and look what it has, oh, it looks like I'll be keeping this one if nobody buys it, because I will be Tearing that out, I'm keeping, I'm saving those now. It's like a weird thing I have. I mean, it's not, it's like kind of loose, but it's, you know, but it's good. Oh, how about some jelly shoes, ladies? These, I believe, are size 10. And I do believe also that, yeah, they are in size 10. They are jams. I think I had one pair of these I that were blue. I don't think I liked them too much. I always had big feet, and I don't think I liked them too much. But, I don't know, they're made in Taiwan. You know, you know when these are from. I'm going to try to jam my foot into one. I'll have to go this one. My leg that's easier to pull up. And I will say that I used to be a nine and a half, ten. And as time has marched on, my feet have like. Flattened, I think, would be the right way to put it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're there? You like it? You want it? <laughs> they can be yours. If the price is right. I need to plug this in again. I keep forgetting that. All right. So, anybody into the jam? Size 10? Pink? I, if, I, if they were like a shoe that I wore all the time... I'd want them just for the memory. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got this oof, fishing. Um, it's got wire edging. And I don't know. Um, I don't know how much there is of it. It said, I don't know if it said three yards, but I don't know how much has been used. There's quite a bit here yet. Anyhow. And it's cute. So anybody, anybody, anybody make an offer. How about an S? An S. Lady Heritage. And it also has the Vogue. Oh, as seen in Vogue. <laughs> an S hanky. Anybody want an S hanky that was seen in Vogue?
not going today. Um, how about this little gal? She's so sweet. And then this beautiful outfit. She's got, she's fully clothed. She's so cute. And she just sits like a good girl. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, these book, um, book plates with the little, um, gnome or whatever on them. And I think there were like 40 in there or something. I'm not counting them, but you can see. And there are these. These, the, I know these are valuable. I, I found that out when I got the first set I ever had. And I was like, wow, people are into it. But look at the gnome. You can kind of see other things around it, too. If you look at it, you can see something else. Like you can see a different head and stuff. But, like, there he is, right there, you know? And the hanky. Okay, you got the hanky. Hanky panky. Okay, this is super cool lace sports sack. Super cool. I actually have one that I use. <laughs> but I actually, it's actually, it's my, uh, it's got like my um, black light and some cards and some information pieces in it. Things that I'm looking for, for people. Hello, Anna. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So, um, let me get this. Hang on. All right. Um, three dollars on the outdoor lore book. Yes. That's a yes. Uh, $3 on the sewing cards. Um, on all of them, I mean, except for the one I took out, actually. On all of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all seven of these. Could you do at least five on all of them? Baby toy penguin. Oh, the... Oh, that's okay. Okay, um, yeah, can we do, can we do five on them? No, that's okay. That's fine. Um, is this is this what you're talking about when you said penguin? Honestly, I don't know what he is. Like a duck, a duck or something. <laughs> oh, what the lore? Let me grab some of these while I can. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. And then this is the 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 thing, right? And that's a yes. Okay, that's a yes on me. One dollar in the peanut tin is a yes. And five dollars on the book plates is a yes. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's okay. And hey, Angie. Okay. And then there's those. And where did I? Where did I put the nut tin? Oh, nuts. <laughs> Where did I put the nut tin? <sighs> did I just, I don't know. I'll find it. <laughs> okay. Excellent. 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 You are welcome. Okay. So we got this cool lace sports sack, like coin purse or. Or, um, I don't know, you could call it, it's a coin purse, it's a whatever you want it to be. But I like it a lot. I, I think, I I had an, um, it was by XO and I had a very similar wallet. I had, this was a handful of years ago. And I got compliments on it every time I was out with it. It's funny. But it's true. I, I, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Nobody. I'm going to put these over here. These, you guys, are awesome. Oh, you guys. I've got this set of five, four Melmac little pla plates, small plates. And this is a separate thing. Uh, these are Texas wear. And they're like a, like a light mint green. So these are set two separate items but they go together I mean they go together so well so uh four of each I've got so four mint green Texas wear or four turquoise melmac melamine whatever Okay, oh, this is awesome. You guys, look at this. Um, it's Anna, uh, Angela. I'm sorry. It's a, we're doing clearance, so it's you make an offer. Um, it's gonna be minimum of ten dollars, and if like all together. Uh, but if you if you spend ten dollars, no big deal. If you spend less than ten dollars, I just add two dollars, a two dollar charge. And so you can just put down what you want. If there's more than one item, put down whatever, and then I'll either yay it or nay it. <laughs> and look at this, you guys, on the bottom of it. It's the, isn't that just so cool? I mean, what? That's so cool to me. I find great things. <laughs> oh, here's that little game board that I got that 
would have went with some of those game pieces. That and I don't even think this went with it, but it might have. Yeah, 2003. Yep, yep. And then those game pieces. Yes, where is my apple, mar green apple martini now? A Georgia O'Keeffe book. Mm hmm. That was a portrait. So it's not your your. It's not your typically traditional book, but it does have pictures of her, her works. And it's like very large, large print writing. So. <gasps> Val. I have had, well, now it's, I've always wanted to show you these when I had it at regular price, and then I never did, so I just put it in my, um, my, um, now I'm having a clearance sale, and it's good to see you too. I have this book, it's called The Album of Horses, and it's, it's so cool, look at this. And not only that, it's signed by the author. And it's just, it's really good. It's got a table of contents here. Um, this is just the first page. And then separately, I found this. King of the Wind. It's a little torn up just in the front. But I think it's funny that they have a little horse sticker on there. But it's by Marguerite Henry as well. So um, if you want to make an offer, thank you. And, and this will come with it. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much. That makes me feel so happy because I've been asking about you. <laughs> oh, heavens. Let me just uh, find this book real quick in here. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so happy. And I feel like I had like a, a different one that was more like a... Not a coloring book, but kind of like a coloring book, but a golden book, kind of. Not sure. So, um, and Angela, if you want to make an offer on any of those things, let me know. I know, it sucks. <laughs> um, okay. These, I will, I will put these in the sale, but you're not going to like it. Okay. Um, and let me just say that I'm going to knock it down $20 from what I was originally asking. These are German vocabulary words, flashcards. Um, I did originally have a talk with somebody um, in, um, you know, the DMs about this. Um, this is from 1960. And there's things that there's games you can play, but there are hush, oh hush, <laughs> and I don't get them all because I'm afraid you don't want them all. But there's all the this is like brand new, you guys. I'm not gonna take them all out either.
Oh, you'll like this one, you guys. See, so you, on the other side, it's this, and then, so you show the person that, and then they try to say, and it's die, die or D, they cats, right? And I got, like, the whole book through. I don't, I don't even go through all of it because it's never been touched. So I will do an offer up on these. Minimum starting price is $50. I know you're going to think that's crazy, and that's fine. Um, there are, how many cards in here? I already said it's 1960. St. Louis, 17, Missouri. <laughs> so funny. Um, and they have other, other kinds. I don't know if they still have them available. Um, does it say how many cards are in here? I'm not sure. This is a lot to read. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the pronunciation. Note to teachers and parents. In pronouncing the word for, your, for the child, always use it with its article as this makes it makes easier the learning of German genders. Do not translate for the child the, the pictures speak for themselves that's so good right so it's like it's it's got the pronunciation that i still can't read <laughs> and these words it's what can i tell you it's a huge box i mean it's a regular box it's a box of and i understand that nobody's probably gonna want them, but that's okay Okay, anybody war and peace, the paperback. How cool would that be on your coffee table? Oh, my brain. So 1968, third printing. The first printing was August of 1968, so they must have reprinted a lot of them fast, right? And it's with the bibliography, it is 1,456 pages. Just a little light reading. <laughs> and it's little printing. I mean, it's small print, you guys. Woof. Anybody want to make an offer on that? You will uh, definitely impress me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. That's not Christmas. Okay, this is so, you guys, I got this the same day I got those other ones, and this is so cool, a melamine plate. This one says, actually, this one says Lennox Ware. That's crazy. It's melamine. So, anybody, anybody? I mean, and it looks, uh, I had it, like, I just, I just, I, I just, like, set it down like this, and it looks so cool, the colors. I wish these were my colors. Why can't they be my colors? Okay. This is these rebel, they're with these wicks. And it's they're called rebel uh, repel. Uh, repel. Oh my god. Repel whisks. Train dogs to stay away. And it says simply hang one or more wicks at base of shrubs, trees, flowers, etc. Um, obviously, I cannot. It's got the active ingredients and the inactive ingredients. Um, 
I cannot, uh, you know, say uh, two sets plates, eight dollars, and the other plate, ten dollars for all of them. You got it. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy because they're all staying together because they look so good together. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, excellent. Um, so yeah, if anybody's interested in this, it's kind of a cute little, I don't know if it's like a gag gift or what. That's they keep out of reach of children though. So who knows? You could just stick this up on a um, bulletin board of funny novelty things or something. I don't know. All right, here, oh, oh, it wasn't too bad. Uh -huh. These are notes, oh, Gab, I love that even more. Gab from Gloria. Oh, how I wish I knew a Gloria, because that's hilarious. And it's it's um, note cards and uh, envelopes, okay, note cards. And envelopes. Isn't that cool? Gab from Gloria. Oh, I die. That's just so great. So anybody wants uh, this, let me know. Okay. Then I've got, if they weren't wintry, I would totally have these for a gallery wall picture because I like the style with which they are done. There's a green and there's a red, aren't they? And I just think this is just, I mean, that's just so cool. I'm not a big snowman person, so no, 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 how, no harm, no foul. I'm not trying to get trouble with anybody, <laughs> but I just think that the, and I think they're actually cards or are they? Yeah, I think they're actually cards and they have an envelope, but like I would seriously like, I would be, what's my word? Framing them. <laughs> And the, and the, um, I believe the, cause the, it's like in two different places. I think it's peel, P I E L. Cause here's, here it says, and you can see the peel where my finger is. And then here you can see it. It looks like a T, but if you look higher up, you can see it's a P. So I thought that was cool. Hmm. Larry the Canary. Now, some child was rough on this book. Baby doll, two dollars. Oh, this one, I imagine. <laughs> you got it. Oh, all right, Samantha. Excellent. So um, not so much that the Larry Canary, whatever is the great thing, but, and this is the back of it. It's got, it's one of the little elf books. So there's that. And then um, see, it says Rand McNally elf book. 
but there are, it was, this one is L-I-X. -L I can't with, I might, I can't even think right now. Great pictures for tearing up because it's already in three pieces. <laughs> so, you know, isn't that just the cutest? So yeah, uh, Larry Canary, <laughs> Larry the Canary, I'm sorry. I think this is so precious and I know there's a boy, a girl one out there. This is by Springbok, which is actually a division of Hallmark. If you didn't know that, I didn't until I had this. It's 1971 and it's called Wood Tints Boy from an original painting by Harry, Mary Hamilton, year 1959. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm so, I suck at that. I'm good at certain ones and then sometimes I just, oof. So this, this here is just so cute and, and that's the back. And you can hang it either here or on here. It's got a bushel Bushel basket of apples. Look at his cute clothes. <laughs> He's adorable. All right. This is Mary Mead's Magic Recipes for the Electric Blender. Now, I will be honest with you, you, this is like, you might be better off just going like that unless you want to tape it because, or, you know, I mean, if you put the thing in there, it stays, you know, because you're dealing with a front and a back, right? Um, and this is from... Copyright 1952 and 1956. And it has everything. Dips, dunks, and spreads. I think that would be my favorite category. And so, yeah, I'm not going to take forever on this. Um, we'll just go quickly. Uh, sweet potatoes with bananas. Uh, brandy hard sauce, mm. butterscotch ice cream sauce, mm. cream cheese and currant dressing. Mm. I can't even say some of these things. Tuna with Brazil nuts. Oh, and then in 1967, somebody might have been reading this book. You will get the, I wish it was 1966 because that was my Y-O-B. <laughs> you got it, Nancy. Um, Rose in June. Doubled ham dip. Peppermint candy pudding. Look, I love it when they put, like, they put their own notes in there. Isn't that cool? I love, and I'll leave it. Orange peel cookies. Banana, banana butter icing, coffee icing, cranberry orange muffins. Mm, I'm down. So if anybody's interested in the blender book, let me know. Mary the Canary. Mary the Canary. Two decks of brand new Epcot Center cards. Now, when I say brand new, I I just really mean they haven't been used. And also, this one hasn't even been 
taken out of the package. Um, I don't remember what year these were made, but I mean, I'd imagine it goes back to when Epcot came to be. So if you um, want to make an offer, I mean, I'm, I, I'm only selling cards like this because they're whole decks. And these are, I mean, people are D Disney people, you know. Otherwise, you know, I sell them like, I sell cards three for $2 usually. So. And if nobody, that's fine. I'm not going to, I won't be, can't talk. I will not be donors. Oh my gosh. Val, are you still here? These are brand new. Tell me, it, I gotta know Val still here before I do that one. Um, I I know they say one Epcot deck, two dollars. You got it. Oh, okay. Look at these. Brand new. And I mean, when I say brand new, I mean it. <laughs> so if you want to throw a number at me, they got the box here. If you're interested, not, if you're not, I mean, right, exactly right. You got them, Val. Thank you. Okay, how about a Sony six hour, never been opened, premium grade VHS tape? I had heard that these were the thing now. All tapes and stuff are like big online. Six hours, EP six hours, LP four hours, SP two hours. Oh, God. Remember all that? T120? God. Oh, I still have some that I want to try to get put onto DVD. And that's probably out. <laughs> so, Blender Book. Hey, Velma. Vilma, did you see that I have that Lake Land of the Lake book out now? I have it. Today, did you see that I had it out? Oof. Oh. Okay, I'm kind of stuck here. It's okay, that's all the stuff that didn't sell. <laughs> Lady of the Lake. From 1830, almost 200 years ago. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I know you you were interested in this book 
And the fact that it's like 190, what is it? 193 years old, 190, 194, almost two year, almost 200 years old. Um, well, girl, get to watching. <laughs> get to watching. I don't uh, ship until tomorrow because then I check my email in the morning and my DMs. Um, I could do uh, $40 on it for you, uh, Velma. Oh, I understand. I understand. If anybody else is interested in this book, $40 start price, okay? It's almost 200 years old, just like that other one. I think I bought this to use for my... Guess what, you guys? Did I ever bring these to a sale or did I ever not have a chance? I have, let me make sure. Yeah, this is it. I have three shuttlecocks. Now that's the word I didn't like, I don't like to say. I said it yesterday, I didn't, no, I did not. I didn't, I would not say it yesterday. I just said it today because it's part of another word. They're not in the best, you know, but they're, I think they're fun. Either you can use them or you can throw them like in a thing for, like in a sport thing. If you got a sport room and you can put these like in a little bowl or something, dish. So if anybody's interested in the shuttlecocks. <laughs> then I have another uh, Disney Mickey or no, mini, mini. Disney 50, Disney World 50th, whatever. It's a Minnie Mouse with at the dinosaur attraction. And it's from 2022. <sighs> Oh, I have, I have another one that's 1833 and it's even more beautiful and I'm asking the same. It's beautiful and it's different. Okay. Um, okay. Did this come out of something? This must have come out of something. I don't know. All right. I've got... Oh. Hang on now. Okay, I just had to make sure. What I've got. Mm. Okay, I think somebody else bought the other one, but I've got this. If anybody wants to make an offer, little hummingbird and two flowers. And um, it's 
I don't know. You you know, it's probably like Home Co or something. It's very lightweight. And I've got a set of three of the gold butterflies, which you could paint if you wanted to. You could spray paint these. Set of three. Okay, you got them. Wait, do you want these? Or did you want the, the bird and the... Did you want the butterflies or did you want the bird? Velma, let me know which one it was. The set of, of three or the, the bird. Okay. I thought, you know what? I think maybe you were the one that bought the other one. I wasn't sure. All right. Thank you. And if anybody's interested in the three... Butterflies, let me know. I know this is weird, but I thought it was funny because the feet. Um, so this is not vintage, I don't believe, but they're just, they're cute because they're the feet. They're the feet, like, like the old, you know, hang 10 or whatever it was. Like the feet used to be a thing, right? So, and they're a set of, of, um, five. Excellent. Does it say size on shoe stretchers? Um, five dollars for Mickey bag for my goodies. You got, yeah, you got it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that? Oh, here it is. Um, actually, I don't think so. Uh, it just says woman, and it's because these like have this stretch. So I'm not sure like how they, you know, let me try to do this. And then I think you just, you push it in. They're probably set to be bigger, you know? So like, okay, so that's like a size 10 shoe that I've got it in, right? But see, then it would just, you know, go up like that if you had a, a different size shoe, I believe. I believe that's how it works. It, it just, I wish it did say a size, but it just says woman. Woman, woman. I wish I could sing. Not, I mean, 
I wish I could sing like I wish I had a good singing voice and also I wish I could sing on here without getting in trouble because I wouldn't care about my singing voice on there just entertainment value you know I don't care if people laugh at me or whatever so um, if anybody's interested this is a set of five feet to keep your non stickedness on the mm -hmm. Look at this cutie patootie. Oh, he's so cute. I can't believe nobody bought him when it was the holiday. He's darling, made out of a walnut. So cute. So cute. Don't judge him because he's a chunky turkey. Nobody still wants them? Or doesn't want them? I can't even talk. You know, I meant to see if this... No, I don't want to stretch it that bad. Okay, this, you guys, is such a cool belt for two reasons. Number one, do you remember this do you didn't we all have a belt like that and then number two it's so boho i know it doesn't fit around my big belly but where's my there it is but <laughs> It's about 36, about 30, it's 36 and it, it does have a little give, okay? It does have give, so, and you can adjust it if you want it smaller, like if you're 28 or something. <laughs> Did the little toy British soldier sell? I do not think so. Wait, it did, no. Yes. I, hang on just a second. <laughs> I know where to look, so let me tell you. Yeah, it did. Yup, yup. So anyhow, this super cool belt. Anybody? Because, I mean, we're not going to wait for me to try to get down to that size okay <laughs> and like I said you can adjust it it's easy easy breezy just flip this up pull it in you know all this all the things so good And then this super cool mid-century like belt. You got it. You got it. Baby. You got it. I did not sell them yesterday. Just let me check, but I'm almost positive. Because they're in this pile underneath. <laughs> Mm 
No, I did not sell them. I think there are 15 in there. And I sell the whole bag as one thing. So, yeah. I, I know it's in this pile. So, hit me. <laughs> hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Oh, you guys are just trying to get me demonetized. This I love because, well, you know, it is mid-century. It's Ozark Walnut Ware, genuine Ozark grown solid walnut, native wood product, Ozark, Missouri. And this is like for nuts or um, Skittles or M&Ms or whatever. Super cool. God, I love this thing. So make a good offer on this. <laughs> so you want the those um I'm gonna write you down. I'm going to stay with mommy. <laughs> mommy. Me. Nope, I do not. I have no price in mind. <laughs> Whatever price you say is probably the price I'll have in mind. Yeah, get one of my bags back. Well, not really, but that's going to Christmas. Okay, let's go here next. We're gonna go until the peeps that I'm at whose house I'm. Um, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. That's that's a yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys. I have. Oof. Oof. Ugh. I have a lot of paper. I have a lot of wrapping paper. I'm gonna do this in I don't know how to do this because I could not write all these down. I would have a headache. Um let me see. Um I'm gonna have to think about how I could do this because I mean you guys I have a lot of wrapping paper <laughs> if anybody is serious about their wrapping paper and you want to ask me about something specific that would be great Okay, so some of this might be fall, but you know what? Remember, it will come around again. Where's my garbage? Oh, well. It's a, uh, this is a great, I have one myself in my personal decor. It's from the Lakewood Brewery in Milwaukee, and it's pumpkin lager. And I usually just like put some orange and white uh, straws or something in it. Or like if I have um, some of those, um, uh, what are those orange, um, oh God, is that them? Um, those flowers, I can't remember what they're called. No, it's not, yay. Anyhow, super cool glass. I have one, I think everyone should have one. 
and it's a Milwaukee souvenir from where I was born. Okay. Anybody interested in this cute placemat with all the little beads? Um, I used to have a placemat. I had a placemat on top of my microwave literally almost the perfect size and do you know how oh it was a blessing because you know how gross like if it's anything's close in the kitchen everything gets greasy you know and it's so nice to have something like this over it and you can put like things on top i only had like this much room so i would just sometimes put like a recipe book or something in there or just like some things that I just needed to throw in there and most of the time it was just for a pretty look so um, that was just just an idea you could put it on your kitchen table or your dining table or a, a, in your bedroom you know whatever um, in your packer room <laughs> ah. so anyway it's just one placemat that could be very useful somewhere. Oh, is, um, oh no, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. This is a bar opener except it doesn't have the opener. So if you found a small opener and you could put a magnet on it, and it's supposed to look like a guitar, actually, I think. I can't remember. I've had a couple different ones, and this is made in Japan. Oh, this might be dumb. Right? Can we chat about the wrapping paper for minutes when you're ready? Yes. Okay, they're home. So... Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Um, I got mostly everything else is fall right now in this one. So, um, I don't mind ending now anyway. So, um, yeah, we can talk about how about... Mm, how are we going to do this? I'll just show them. And you just, uh, you guys, I guess, can just say what's on it. You'd like anything at fairies, mushrooms, and animals. Okay. Too bad you didn't say butterflies. <laughs> oh my gosh, the butterflies. Well, they're animals, although they're like Noah's Ark. Floor bottle man. Okay, you got you got that. Uh, Thank you, Val. Where did I put him? Uh, did I just put him in here? And I gotta write that down so I don't forget. Okay. Um, these are like um, Noah's Ark from Precious Moments. So I'm not sure if that's the kind of animal that you would be into. Um, dang it, I got so many butterflies. 
and flowers. Okay, here's some. Here's some with um, animals and mushrooms. And there's two sheets. Or is it one humongous sheet? Yeah, it's one humongous sheet. It's twice this much. So do you see? I'll, I'll like go slowly. So there's a, a mushroom over here by my finger. And then there's animals. Ooh, there's a feather. And cattails. Ooh, I love those. So there's this. This one. I'll be done after this thing. <laughs> and then there's these in the, in the jungle. I don't know if you saw. And it's twice the amount of this. Um, wedding butterflies. Ay, 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 with the butterflies. Umbrellas, tennis shoes. <laughs> Flowers. Oh, more animals. This is a different one. But it's animals. It's got deer, no, moose and bear. Yeah, moose and bears and ducks. And, um, oh, that's cute. Let me see. This is, this is cute. It's a uh, giraffe. But they're in with all these um, leaves and flowers. Oh, umbrellas too. Okay. They're umbrellas, so they're, I mean, they're giraffes, but they're mixed in with other, and it's twice the size. Um, wedding bears. Race cars. <laughs> flowers. I sure have a lot of flowers and hearts and birds and butterflies. But I did have, yeah, I have other, you know, I have a lot of things that just say happy birthday on them. Oh, I don't know what this is. Uh, oh. Just plain. <laughs> Have I ever seen just plain? That's weird. Okay, so Debs and yes, blue too. Okay. This is just uh, this much. Oh, it's from 1988. Okay, so the giraffes, let me, tell me, oh, yes, okay, both of those. So both of those, was that meaning this one and this one, I think? Flowers with the giraffes, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Got you. I got you. I got you. That's good. That's easier for me. <laughs> okay. So these, these four, did you want, or, or, or did, or did you only want one of these, um, animal ones? And let me run through here for the umbrellas. Uh, 
Um, well, where did the umbrellas go? Maybe they're on the other side. Or maybe I'm, you know, losing it. That's a possibility. Rainbows, 80-ish characters. Okay, so we got these. Okay. Um, let me see here. See, here's the, there's, the umbrellas are mixed. It's all like wedding stuff. Rainbows and 80s characters. Let's see. Well, <laughs> this has rainbows and umbrellas, but it's for the bride-to-be. So you, if you're, unless you're going to fussy cut them out... You know, let me know. <laughs> um, I feel like I might have had some rainbows. I'm not sure. And if anybody else is, you know, hearing me blabber on and wants something. more character things I, it's like very um like you know typical I don't know is this considered an 80s thing oh yes I do Okay, so as far as rainbows goes, this rainbows and this one is the only one. So for you, Debs, I have these, and I don't know if you wanted this one or not, but I have, I have these. And so what was the price that you wanted to throw out there. The first one. What do you mean the first one? Oh, absolutely. It's a minimum of 20. I had originally been asking like 50 or 60. It's got a 28 inch waist, but it is phenomenal. Um, Debs, let me tell let me know what you're talking about, okay? I'll get to the um rest of the wrapping papers here in just a minute. Let me pull this down. It is beautiful. It's got like three, four, three fourths in a, a sleeves. I, yeah, the umbrellas were the ended up being the um, these. It's got this beautiful little, okay, got you. Uh... 
Debs, don't worry. I'll just throw it in. I don't mind. So just give me a price for the ones that... Um, one, two, three, four, and five, if you take that one. Or just whatever. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Anna. I am. Okay, you are looking at the. I'm sorry. Butterflies, birds, and flowers. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I got a lot. So, like, try to keep a. Some kind of list if you this is like the two the big and then the two sides roses with stripes this is the same these are from current they're so vintage I love it the way the pieces open up and stuff this is a very pale Pink roses. I don't think you said anything about hearts, right? I'll just put those over there. Um, flowers and butterflies are on this one. And it's kind of a rainbow. Wait, you said flowers, rainbows, and birds. No, flowers, butterflies, and birds. Okay, there's, um, this is a set. I gotta get this out. So, these are birds, lots of, they're wedding bell birds, mm, doves, I guess you would say. <laughs> and there's a lot. Okay, there's a lot of that. I'll take five more. Any flowers, hearts, or butterflies when Anna is done, just pick for me. Okay. And then there's these like tulips and mixture. And then, oh, there's more of this. I'll put it with the original one. Um. Well, this is a map. <laughs> no. And that just says happy birthday. Oh, there's more. Even more of that one. Yay. There's a lot of that one. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jeff Gordon. <laughs> um, wedding. Here's some more, more um, birds. They're, again, wedding doves. Um, this is bridal shower happiness always oh and I guess technically there's a is that a oh yeah there's an, a heart a, a big umbrella in there I forgot about that Butter, butterflies and flowers and this one I don't know if you guys are interested in just the wrap or if you actually use it and cut it. So, you know, I don't know the detail of which you're looking for. Um, oh, cupcakes, yum. <laughs> These flowers are awesome. These are really good. Uh, purple flowers. Fruit. Did anybody say fruit? I have a ton of fruit. <laughs> I'm finally home. I can pay total attention. Yes, Debs. <laughs> There's another. That's a. The, the, it's got birds. It's got doves. It's got flowers. 
Lily of the Valley and a Rose. It's got all different ones. This one has, well, this is very homey. <laughs> Here's some gladiolas, I believe. Here are, this is a beautiful butterfly one. These are some large and in charge butterflies. And this folds out more and more. So that was really cool. Um, it's another wedding. This is kind of like, I don't know, like a Monet kind of flower or something. Little, little sport for the little sport, all. And then there's the, the, you know, well, we already went through. There are more of these. Here are, this is another wedding one, but it's got the butterflies. Yeah. This is pretty. Yellow background with flowers. This one has birds, butterflies, and flowers. Check, check, check. <laughs> And this is one of those humongous ones as well. Oh, and there's more. Another whole one. Um, this is flowers. Like This looks like kind of like um, obscure artsy flowers. These wedding ones, ay, ay, ay. Lots of wedding and birthday. In the country. Oh, that's gonna go on that. Um, here is, uh, oh, looky there. Some dragonflies and bugs, ladybugs. And dragonflies for and hearts and flowers for my Beth. Look at these. This is a pretty, 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 like so uh, vibrant of a. And this is a double also. With the M. And it has the words of them. Very cool. Oh, flowers or something. Here's a wedding one with flowers. I don't know if you want that one. Gosh, you can hardly see what's on here. This one's so pale. I'm not even gonna bother with that. Birthday, birthday. Flower, oh, wait, wait. This is just flowers, one of the big openers. This has the flowers and the butterflies. Oh my gosh, another. <laughs> uh, oh. That. That. Okay, that's that's the bird that's the the this is all the ones like that I pointed out specifically had flowers, butterflies, or birds. Okay. <laughs> okay, light pink, big roses. Check. First wedding doves. I think that was, just make sure that that I'm doing the right ones because I think that was this. 
and there's two of them, so I'm putting them both in. They're large. Tech. Um, hey, Sandra. The purple flowers. Oh, yeah. Yes, you you got that, girl. Uh, this goes to Beth. <laughs> um, or were you talking about these wedding doves? I'm not sure. Just let me know. Um, and then purple flowers and gladiolas. I remember which ones those are. I love these purple flowers. And the gladiolas. Okay, and then birds, butterflies, and flowers. Okay. Birds. Oh, the one with all of them on there. Birds, butterflies, and flowers. All right. And I'm going to put them both in there. And 10. That's good. That's good for me, too. You got it, Beth. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get these mixed up. Anna. And, okay, and then um, Debs, I've got some good ones to add to yours as well. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. If anybody else wants any of the wrapping paper, let me know. Um, I have, I did show you all the birds and butterflies and flowers, but I do have fruit and I have a lot of happy birthday and I have some wedding stuff and whatnot. And also, yeah, if you're late or if you think you missed something, take a look through um, and just hit me up with a, hit me up with um, a, um, uh, an, an email. Oh, is anybody interested? I should grab this out in this totally groovy vintage butterfly belt. I'll see how long it is. It's about a 30 inch, but it's got stretch. So that stretch could add some inches. So, and I think you could, um, make them smaller too. I don't know. Monet flower package for $2. Yes, you can. X 
Excellent. Is anybody into um, <clears throat> tennis? <coughs> I don't even know where I got this. I think that belt would still be too small for me. Same. <laughs> Same, same, same. Okay, now, as a on, on a on a going out note, I will. I have not tried to clean this. Yes, I put it aside for her before even. Um, this is a Furby, a pink Furby. Okay, I don't have I need a teeny tiny Phillips screwdriver to open it it is tiger electronics and it's from 1989 um the eyes definitely do something here and the mouth will do something. I have not um, tried to mess with the um, anything, nor have I cleaned it. But does anyone have interest in this? Either priced, just taking the chance, or priced want to wait to see or priced want it cleaned up which you know whatever um either way i mean it can't be just like ten dollars because i i know these things are especially a pink girl one so if anybody's interested in the furby let me know um uh did anybody want to take another look at the um, awesome rug slash hanging or the blue Christmas tree. Mm. Oh yeah, I did show that, okay. Otherwise, it, this is gonna be it. Um, I might, like, do, because I do have, um, I, well, I got you a, quite a bit, almost all. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, Val, you might love this thing. Seriously. Um... I am next week. I already got my stuff here for, that I, I'm gonna use do for next week, but I will add on some um, clearance as, as, as like, and we'll do it the same way. The clearance, not me pricing it. It's you, you picking a price. Um, now this um, Val, I had asked a a, a a certain price for. Well, now I got this. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, my fat face. Ugh. Okay, here's the blue tree. <laughs> it is a uh, four foot pre-lit. I did have it put together. 
But it is, it is blue. And there's the blue lights. So I um, am looking for, you know, pretty decent price on that. And then I have this amazing rug or hanging. Um, it was, whoever had it was hanging it. it. It had this like on there that I need to leave or take. I don't know. And it's broken right here. The, like a, it had a dowel, like see, in it. So um, I... Look, if I if I don't sell this, it's definitely going to be a keeper. It is amazing. Um, I would say it's let's see. Um, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh God. Um, it is. This tall, I got my toes on the fringe on the other side, okay? So it's that tall, which I'm going to say five feet, five feet long. It's five feet long. And then I'm going to say, hang on and I'll get, well, let's say, I would say one. I'd say three feet. Would it be five by three feet? Does that sound right? It is. Let me get back to it. Sugar bridges. Oh, gosh darn it. There. No? There. There we go. Is this not beautiful? <laughs> I mean, is... Is Nancy still here? Nancy was with me when I got it. It is a beauty. I would probably get it, you know, try claim for something. These little fuzzies on the end, I don't know, you know. But um, the other side, that's the back, obviously. Um, I, I was asking, I think I was asking, a uh, starting price of 75, I think, um, or might've been more, but. And, and I believe the same for the blue Christmas tree. So I, um, Nancy, tell everybody about this beauty and this beauty. <laughs> so I would take, if anybody wants to make an offer, I mean, I could lay this thing out. Why don't I do that? Ugh, sorry. Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah. Ugh. This is great. Ugh. Look how pretty that is. Flatten it out. Okay. Are we good? Isn't that pretty? So, here's the deal. Make the offer. <laughs> I'd be happy to um, take an offer. Um, yeah. I would use it as a rug, to be honest, now that I see it down there. Um, and I um, would take out the... Um, well, I 
would take out the dowel, you know, and just whatever. But, um, yeah, the tree is really something. So, yeah. This isn't really even my style, but it's so cool that I can't, like, I can't not, I can't just, like, not do anything with it, so... I don't know how to put it. I can't. I'm going to roll it up, though, this time. And, um, you know, if, if I were to um, ship this, hang on a second now. Let me turn it around again. Okay, I'll just put you guys right there. Okay, if I were to ship this right here, I could fold it. See, I still could because that that thing is, you know, I could still fold it. And shipping would not be the biggest worst thing in the world for this. And um, as far as the box, or sorry about that, as far as the tree goes, it's in a box. <laughs> so I would, I would ship this as is in this box, even if you bought other stuff. I would, this is how I would ship it. I love how it says open that other end. And they still opened it there. It's from T Toys R Us. It was from Toys R Us. But now, I don't know, they've been gone for a while, so I have no idea. So, I am ready to go. If anybody would like to make an offer on anything that I have left if you watch this later again or any parts of it or something is still on your mind or you really 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 want the beautiful dress oops dress just because it's gorgeous or the top, I mean, 28 inch waist, whatever, and size four at Torrid. <laughs> so those are the, <laughs> the uh, big things, the big items, the big ticket items. The, um, well, not the, I'm sorry, not the, The, um, oh, I can't do that. They, this is not a big ticket item. This I would want at least $20 for, and that's, I think, reasonable. And, um, the, the rug and the tree, I would, um, hey, girl. Thank you, Linda Nita. Um, uh, Miss, uh, Martini. Would you like to make me an offer on this book? It's just a thin book. It's a get to know the world's greatest artists. Um, and, uh, you know, I know she's your favorite. So if you're interested to make an offer on that, um, but anyhow, that, and, and if you want to, if anybody's interested in making me an offer or discussing the tree and, or the rug slash, uh, tapestry slash hanging, um, that would be great. Okay. Uh, you can DM me or you can email me comfy cozy living at gmail.com. Um, there's a lot left if you haven't been at the sale. Um, and tonight you're, uh, at home with. Nothing to watch on TV. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, me too. Uh, so I don't do the shipping until tomorrow. And just please remember that I do invoice 
as I ship as I do I pack it, then I invoice it, and I don't ship it until it is paid for. So um, keep an eye out, and uh, no problem, no problem, Renee. Uh, just keep an eye, uh, you know, and uh, everything. Uh, and uh, uh, keep an eye out for your uh, invoice. And that's it. I will. Uh, See you next week. It'll be a regular sale day. Um, I am uh, not sure if I'm going to be able to do much this Saturday. So if I get everything done and it's not paid for, then shipping might be waiting until next Tuesday when I come back here. Wednesday, Wednesday whatever day. Um, I think it's going to be, yeah. So, um because I split my time right now and I, you know, I, all my stuff, my mom does not have internet or any kind of capabilities that enable me to do what I need to do. So anyway, thank you guys. Thanks everybody. Think about that. Make an offer if you want. I'm happy with that. Um, and uh, have a great night. All right. Bye, everybody.